What's up everyone? This is the Godfather Dictator and I'm back with a little bit of history of Ninja Gaiden with ATB and Bigowski. There we go. And uh, what we're going to uh, JTB is going to uh, talk about his origin. Leo from the site wanted to know about some of our history and origins and things like that. Uh, that's Leo gets it done for people from the old sites. Uh, great guy. I've got to meet him. But he asked that, so we're going to start off with that. You know, is that something we ought to talk about real quick? If people have questions or want to know, maybe for the next time we do that, because this is part three. Yes. Uh, yeah, so definitely. Yeah. Post any questions. questions. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so without we'll tell further us how ado, awesome we are. We, we yeah. like that too. Yeah. 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 That's, that's nice. <laughs> without further ado, we get to hear JTB's beginnings. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I have told this in bits and pieces over the years, but never kind of in one go. Um, and uh, I've, I mean, I think I've, I've pretty, it's pretty obvious, I think, that, you know, I'm a big fan of games. I've always played them, but uh, action games have always been like kind of, I feel like everyone, you have a game type or genre that you kind of just click with and you you see you see them in a way that like other people don't. You know, you see things like, um, like when you play a new action game, you kind of, you take note of things just subconsciously, like recovery frames and stuff that other people just don't really think about. Um, so I've always been a huge fan of them, and uh, the what really got me hooked on action games was the first Devil May Cry, funnily enough, because when that came out, I remember getting a demo for it with uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica on PS2. If anyone remembers that, you got this was in the days of demo discs. <laughs> classics. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Yeah, classic. you know, they don't exist anymore. <laughs> um, but it had a demo of Devil May Cry on it, and um, I remember thinking, like, Devil May Cry, what's this? Like, you know, and like. This was supposedly Resident Evil Four or something, you know, and they yes, scrapped it. But they yes, I it, remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So I played the demo and it was like, "This is amazing," you know, because th I'm trying to think of a game. Um. I think Onimusha was before Devil May Cry, and I played Onimusha a ton as well. Um. But Onimusha was was quite rigid, like not in a bad way, but it was quite strict. Um. The first game where you you felt like you could really move and like you know jump around and like double jump and you had such great mobility like was Devil May Cry One and it's funny you go back and play it now Devil May Cry One is a bit more rigid than like you remember probably but um I can't really think of any other 3D action game like that like before DMC One where you had you know the the combination of like melee and guns and the movement felt great the enemy design was like super like varied but distinctive and every enemy felt different and there was all these little nuances like the, the one hit kill system in dmc1 is super cool like so many enemies have like critical hits you can set up on them and all that it was just a really great game to kind of sink your teeth into and a perfect like action game to start off with so that's kind of where it really all started um and i'd played ng before like the old ngs on the nintendo and right well, yeah, I played them through. I, th I can't remember where I played them because it's just going back so far. But I remember playing. My I remember playing the arcade version, not the like NES versions, because I, I didn't have a Nintendo like when I was a kid. Like I had a Sega, so you know I, I had a Mega Drive, and they weren't on that, unfortunately. Um, but I remember playing the arcade version, and um, one year uh, my PS2 broke, and this was when the Xbox was coming out. Um, and I like I thought, okay, I'll I'll get an Xbox instead. Like I won't get another PS2. Like I'll try this Xbox out. Um, and I just saw Ninja Gaiden in a shop, you know, on, on, on a shelf and was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I, mean, I remember Ninja Gaiden, like, you know, what's this about? Turned it over, you know, looked at the back of the case, which again, <laughs> I feel like, you know, people don't do that anymore. No. <laughs> it, you know, it's all, it's all you know, people just... Now, coming to digital, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they buy digital, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like, people look at a video now, you know, they're like, oh, this game, let me check out a video. Back then, you couldn't do that. You know, you looked at the, you looked at the back of the case and you're like, that screenshot looks kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give this a go. Or you um, bought the guide. Ah, uh, yeah, the strategy guide. I didn't buy the guide. No, I did, I did not buy that. But um, yeah, I bought that from uh, from HMV, I believe, uh, which is still going, actually. It's one of the few kind of like big box um, entertainment shops that's actually still around. There's not many of them left. Uh, but I got that from there for when I got my Xbox. And it was the first game I played on it. Because um, I knew about Halo and everything, but, you know, action games were kind of more my thing. So I thought, okay, let's try this Ninja Gaiden out. And I remember distinctly from even, and this is no exaggeration, but I fought the first two ninjas in that game. Just the brown ninjas that dropped down. <laughs> and I remember thinking, damn, this game feels super good. And this, this might be like better than DMC. And I, up, up until that point, I was like, nothing's better than DMC. Like DMC is the best, the best, you know, nothing is even close, but 
just how tight the controls felt and the responsiveness. And I'm a big fan of fighting games as well. And it felt like, um, I don't think you guys have played the older Tekken games at all, but like Tekken 3, uh, they had Tekken Force mode, I believe, was the first instance of that. And it was like, you know, they tried to do like an action game, but with a fighting games mechanics, and it just didn't, you know, they, they could never really pull that off. This was, I remember playing NG for the first time. It's like, man, these, they figured it out. You know, this is the DOA people. Like, this has the precision of a fighting game, but it's a, it's, it's an action adventure game. And it's just, it just was all downhill from there, really. You know, played it like crazy. I remember um, playing through very hard. Uh, I got to Alma, and like a lot of people, I had to start a new save because I, I just didn't have the items <laughs> to, to beat her the first time. <laughs> Um, I hope you had the save slot, not just one. <laughs> yeah, this was definitely would have been like you know where I was just using like probably one or two saves, um, and uh, yeah, it was pretty much all downhill from there. Well, not downhill; it was all uphill. Uphill, it was, right? It was all good. Yeah, it was all good. But um, and then yeah, I just I just played it constantly, and then I I remember being really annoyed and really kind of emo when when the hurricane packs and the master ninja tournament was announced because um, and not to sound like too big headed but like i felt like i was pretty good at that game even before like youtube and you can kind of see people play just from forums you know people struggling with stuff and i'm like oh, that's like again i was a kid so i was like well that's easy what are you talking about yeah. you, know, <laughs> you know it's like you, know, you don't have the nuance that you do uh, when you get older um so i was really like pissed that i couldn't play in that tournament because i genuinely felt like pretty confident like man i feel like i do pretty well you know um it was really annoying that i couldn't play i didn't have xbox live um again you know this is going back to what feels like the stone age but um you know you had to like run a cable you know to your to your modem um you, yeah the you 100 have, feet um, cable right that you talked about yeah um, you, you you had to have i was i was what 15 16 so you know you had to have um, a credit card you know and you, you don't have that anymore and like you know and this is this is weird because like talking about this now i feel like anyone that's a bit younger listening might be like what the fuck right the, yeah what the hell it's like yeah you know you you couldn't go to like your parents back then and be like oh yeah i want this xbox live account you just have to put in your credit card and it's on the internet <laughs> you couldn't say that to people in 2004 and have them be like no fucking way am i doing that <laughs> like, you know credit yeah, yeah. card and the internet no no way <laughs> you know that's not happening forget about it um so you know nowadays that's you know i mean i have a card saved on like my psn and xbox you know it's just what people do yeah, yeah. um so yeah i did miss the hurricane yeah. packs um originally but you know played a ton of ngo4 um kind of gravitated towards um game facts and game faqs as as i used to I, I still call it game faqs to be honest um and um yeah just kind of got posted on the forum and then uh, that's where i first met uh on the forum like uh, big owl and um, i think pasaran was on there as well um i remember uh, eternal rapture was on game facts oh, wow, um wow. Weibull, uh dark azuki uh, edge aom uh he was he was in glasgow he was based in scotland um yeah, i remember uh, razor ramon yeah yeah razor ramon was on there too um who else uh, Sh shinobia was, uh, was on there as well a we haven't mentioned yet but yeah go ahead edge um, yeah so yeah edge well, yeah i mean edge was a on, phenomenal sorry. player um yeah i think i think not to quickly derail but i think he was the first person i can remember that left weapons at lower levels on a karma run i think he had the level two debilero when he got the master ninja high score and I remember thinking at the time, like, that's really smart. Like, that's, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. More, more yeah, like, keep it, yeah, and yet now you look at runs where pe like, people don't upgrade anything now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's you know? a lot better, right? So, uh, yeah, and then uh, I, got, I got posting on there. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that like a lot of my posts are probably too old and they've probably been deleted because <laughs> I wasn't as... Um, as, as, as a, I wasn't older and wise like I am now, you know. <laughs> uh, when people would post like problems, like I wasn't a dick, but uh, I'll say that, like I definitely wasn't like horrible, but um, I, I definitely didn't have like the perspective I have now. Like now, like not everyone plays these games like you do. You know, you, people just play this because it's the new game or whatever, or they found it cheap at their shop and it was like you know a tenner. You know, not everyone is crazy and spends like quite literally probably ten hours a day playing this like you. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Um, you know, could have had a bit more nuance there, but uh, that's how I found Iberians. You know, Iberians was was the forum back then. Uh, yeah, and joined Iberians, and then honestly, like I kind of regret doing this in hindsight because it would have been good to still be active. But as soon as I joined Iberians, like I don't think I ever went back to Game of Fakes to post. 
Uh, oh. oh, I did not know that. But did you yeah, check the forum was, every was, now and then, or no? You just nah. Have also? Like, I was just completely like, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to go to that. You know, cesspool. Like, you know, it's, it's all about <laughs> my variants from here on in. Uh, well, we'll but yeah, again, in hindsight, a little bit later on. But yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely part of all of this community. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, a lot now. of the people came from there. Um, yeah. So it, that's something that, with the benefit of hindsight, you know, was was a poor decision um, because there was still a lot of people asking for help. Um, and that's why um, nowadays, when um, you kind of get on that subject, I think I think nowadays, like people are much better about that. I think because there's a lot more. I feel like there's a little bit. Well, I say there's a lot more. There is more accountability. I think for what you post online nowadays. I, I feel like there's. There is more personal stuff, you know, when you post things online. Whereas back then, it really was just kind of the Wild West, you know. It just it was it was kind of ridiculous, like how just. I mean, I don't think Game of FAQs had um, moderate, like it didn't have moderation for for a long time. Like you know, you could swear on it, you could post whatever you want. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, like YouTube and it's when it first started, like was not moderated at all. Um, you know, comments like you know, people would say just the the most like abhorrent shit <laughs> you know, in, in the comment section and on forums and it's like you know jesus man yeah. remember <laughs> though we had excuse uh, jtv we were a kid big al uh, was in his 30s already <laughs> Yeah, I was in my um, late 30s, so I had yeah. no excuse. You know? I, I was never that bad. I was, saying, I, I was definitely, um, I definitely didn't have, as I said, like the perspective on like, you know, the time invested, you know, as as most people do, um, as I do now. But man, I'm, I'm talking like, you know, words I'm not actually going to repeat on here. You know, like, <laughs> I'm, it, it's, it was really bad at that time. Well, um, I would, on Game Facts, I would, if I didn't like what they said. I mean, I think I've, I've mentioned some stuff about Foreman, but there was a guy on there that me and him would almost get into it just about every day, and his name was Nakar. Oh, and, God, man. Oh, yeah, see? See, yeah. there was another guy, Master JT, but really Nakar, and I remember uh, he wanted to join IW's site, and I was like, don't do it, don't do it, and mm. everybody was so nice, oh, we're gonna do it, everybody, and then he started doing the same thing, and they finally had to ban him, but, you know, the they did give him a chance. Yeah, there. they did. And on the subject of banning people, funnily enough, um, on Iberians, I can only recall, off the top of my head, I can only recall of three people that actually ever got banned. Because um, Iberians was like, from the get-go, it was, you know, you don't be a dick here. You know, <laughs> that's, that was kind of like... Yeah, it's like rule number one, you know, it's like, and, and I, I've even carried that like to my stream, like rule number one, I've, I've put there, it's like rule number one, just don't be a twat. And then pretty much that covers so much of what you don't need to think about, then we'll be fine. <laughs> it's just, you know, common don't be a douche. Common sense, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's like uh, when people was like, oh, you know, what do you mean I can't post this, you know, horribly like racist comment? Like, what are you talking about? It's like, yeah, like yeah, see yeah, rule yeah. number the guy one. Who actually did that, I think, on Iberians. And that, that was, yeah, I remember it, it kind of caused a big deal there for, you know, for a little bit until that's the reason he started getting a lot of mods and things. Yeah, like yeah, that. exactly. And I think it, it's interesting. I feel like if you, if you, if you remember, can you know, like forums in the internet, you know, before like moderation, because I feel like it's a big, it's a big difference now, you know, um, you, the internet back then was just so, you know, no holes barred like yeah. it just anything go anything went you know it was it was some crazy shit that you could find like very easily um and uh, but, but to get it back to ng a little bit off topic but um and yeah when i stopped when i joined iberians that's when i really kind of got hungry to 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 as, as the people like to put it these days get good that, that was when um, i first started seeing videos of people um and not in a bad way but i was thinking of the videos i'm seeing i was like man these these guys are really good but i feel like i'm, I'm kind of at least on their level like you know i don't I, i'm not what like th there was a few that i saw like razor ramon was one like, i remember first seeing like some of really his good. combat stuff and i thought man yeah. okay i'm not on that guy's level um but that just kind of really lit a fire under me to just get better you know i really wanted to get really good and and it wasn't sort of um it wasn't so I could just be like, yeah, I'm really good. Check how amazing I am. Um, I just feel like NG is a game, and I feel like a lot of games are like this. Like, generally speaking, the, the better you are at a game and the more you understand it, I think the more fun you have when you play it. Because you don't get things happen to you and you think, oh, what was that bullshit? Yes. You know, that was unfair. Yeah. And you think, well, you know, not really. You know, if, you, if, if something is, like, you know, beating you and, and you're having trouble with it, there is probably something you're not doing that you could be doing that would fix it for you. Um, prime example 
exploding shurikens in NG2. Like, most people would just say, oh, they're unfair, they're cheap. They need to be taken out of the game. And you think, I can see why you would say that. Like, I, you know, I, I understand that point of view, but it's, it's not correct because you can manage them. You know, you can get through them and, and, and conquer that minefield. It's just you need to put in the time to, to learn what you need to do and implement it through practice. And that's and just kind of how I... a lot of ways to do that from OTs to Nympho to UTs it, to... Yeah, it does. But if you look at the way most people play action draw, yeah. games these yeah. days, they, they just mash the buttons. You know, they just... All um, Y to win. And, yeah, and, and and that's where it's uh, it's a shame, and I think uh, like the, the background in fighting games like also had a huge part on that because fighting games are kind of the same thing in a lot of ways. You know, if you if you come up against a character that's really giving you trouble, you you've got to take them into the lab and think, okay, you know, this thing they're doing, like, what can I do about this? How can I stop them doing this? Um, in an NGB, like it's it's a single player game, so once you figure out everything, once you learn all the enemies, the game can't really surprise you that much like it, it can still it can still do it but yeah, yeah. It, it, it can't just sort of do something and you'd be like what the hell was that you right. know that that ninja just did a move i've never seen it's like well nope the ninjas have x amount of attacks and i know all of them so <laughs> it's, it's it's just practice i guess and um i just i just always enjoyed playing the game uh it's i played the game from pretty much 2004 until I went to uni, which was uh, September 2009. No exaggeration, like 10 plus hours a day. Wow. And is that, probably... is that around the Sorry, time you started you? making uh, videos or that was a little bit after? Like what basically made you start making videos back then? Um, it was mainly to just be kind of more, to get more stuff out there. Uh, again, it wasn't like a, you know, I'm the best, watch all my shit kind of thing it was just this is really cool it's a great community um in in terms of technology um i feel like it's actually really helped now because i feel like i don't know if you, you agree to with like streaming and that but i feel like in general you meet people now like they either know tech pretty well or they know like absolutely sod all like, yeah they, they don't know anything <laughs> about videos like you know, they, they talk about video, like, you know, making videos. Like, oh, I want to make videos. And you're like, oh, okay, so you'll need this and this and this. And, you know, and they're like, what, really? Like, it takes all that to make a video? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then that, that's a, a frustrating because I think, man, you guys have got it so easy. You have no back idea. Then, that, yeah, back then that was <laughs> yeah. even worse. Um, I mean, it was not the Yeah, because my first all. capture card, I remember I went to PC World. Shout out to PC World in, in the UK. Um, <laughs> I think was it was first? like... Uh, it was 25 or 35 quid, I can't remember. Um, it was limited to 50 hertz, so all my, like, original footage, I was playing the game basically with, like, a, you know, like, 10 frames of, like, delay, because it, the, the capture card was limited to 50, so I had to put the Xbox to, like, 50, not 60, um, so I could play it. So, like, the playing experience was terrible. <laughs> oh, wow. And the uh, the files it. were huge yeah. because uh, there, there was no way to like compress. You know, like if you wanted software back then, like you you, know, you had to pay, and it was super expensive. Yeah. Um. Shout outs to Windows Movie Maker. Um. Oh, you yeah. know, free free video editor back then. Um. And I remember. Um. Yeah. You know. And pe and this is also in the era where people downloaded videos. Um. So like my videos were like quality wise were shit. You know they they were really bad. Um, but because I didn't have a way to like set their bitrate like manually in that, um, they were huge. You know, they were like 300 megabytes, which I know now is nothing. But you know, on you know, on like like two on like 128 kb internet, that's a lot. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. A, that's a long download you've got there. Um, and it was just kind of that. That's all. Just kind of that's what kind of got me into PC hardware and and all that stuff. And um, and then yeah, it pretty much just snowballed from there again you know when ngb launched it was crazy i remember getting ngb took me all day to find a copy <laughs> um because this was before like amazon and, and stuff like that was was really kind of you could get get you could get some games on amazon back then but like only the really big ones you know like uh, like gta you could get yeah, yeah. Uh, but i remember going into my uh, local local city and this is also in the days where there was like 110 physical game shops and I went to every single one of them. Release day, totally skip uh, school uh, the day, uh, no, college at that time. Yeah, totally skip college. Like, yeah, college can fuck off. I'm going into town and getting, getting my copy of NGB, you know? 
Um, yeah, I went to every single shop, and um, the the very last one I went in, which ironically enough was HMV once again, and I got the final copy they had. Oh wow! It was yep, it was meant the, to be, right? Yeah, got the final copy they had. It was uh, it was it was nineteen ninety nine because it had the that was one reason why um, I think uh, God, what was his name? Someone from the forum sent me a sealed copy of the US version because in the UK it was a it was that like Xbox Classics cover art which looks like dog shit. Um, and we didn't have like the cool spine that you get in like the American version. And someone sent me a sealed copy, and it's killing me that I can't remember his name. <laughs> um, oh man, I, I will find out. I'll, I'll look it up, and uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll give you a shout out on on the, in the comments. But um, yeah, and then it just I got it home, played it nonstop until I pretty much had to go to bed through exhaustion. Um, fun little factoid about that too. Um, I beat the game on very hard. Um, very hard at all of mission mode. I didn't know Master Ninja was in the game until I went into mission mode again and then like selected a mission and Master Ninja popped up as a difficulty. And I thought, oh. wait, what? Like, is that new? Again, this is again 2005. People, you know, no smartphones. <laughs> you know, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you weren't that. You're yeah, getting then, the information yeah. by yourself, you know. So yeah, exactly. I didn't know, and I was like, "Is there a Master Ninja for story mode?" And I, I you know, picked new game, and Master Ninja was there. I was like, "Oh shit, this is gonna be awesome!" Played yeah, it because in Go Four, it only had very hard. It only had very hard. Yeah. So I went in, selected Master Ninja mode, played it. I was like, "Oh, this is well good. I'm, I'm brilliant. I am." I died on the second fight. I jumped. And you know the ninja's like three hit yeah, kills yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. My God. that hit me. I was like, oh, oh sh-. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, this, you know, this is this gonna be is good. This is serious, <laughs> you know? right? Yeah, serious nice. stuff. Yeah, and, and yeah, that's that's pretty much. Yeah, that's kind of how I got started. From there, it was just you know, just I played it nonstop. Um, how my girlfriend at the time put up with that? Honestly, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, she must um, have like like two, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I got. I, I, she did actually start playing. Like, she beat very hard, like up to very hard in Sigma. Wow, nice. Um, Damn. Yeah, and um, better teacher than Big Al. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> My wife never um, got past normal, so that's the that's the joke there. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, she did. She got. Where did, I think she got stuck on. Funnily enough, I think she got stuck on like chapter five. I think on Master there, Ninja, like Hydra Cubus, and I remember uh, thinking, like, I was expecting you to get stuck on Alma. Um, yeah, but uh, the frame rate on Sigma is just so bad in that fight. Like, yeah, I agree, it's terrible. Um, but yeah, she did really well. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I, mean, I guess it's kind of skipping ahead to Sigma, but it was the same with Sigma. Like, I I got Sigma like you know when it came out, played it a ton. Um, yeah, because NG two was yeah. after Sigma. It was a year later, if I recall. Right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh like yeah. One came in two thousand seven. The other in two thousand eight. Eight. Yeah. 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 And now the the, the shoutouts to the PS3 costing four hundred and seventy five pounds uh, when I bought it. <laughs> I still that was have a, my original brick. This is a good one though, PS3. I I did like the the fat PS3. I still have. I did. I got a real soft spot. Cool. Mine died unfortunately. Yeah, same here. Same here. I yeah, mine that died. died. Years though, so who knows? It's um, but yeah, for, oh, man, I remember um, because <laughs> the guy when I went in, I went to Game Station for that. Because uh, I had it pre-ordered uh, for Sigma, and um, I remember, like, the, because the PS3 again um, didn't do well when it first started. Like, it didn't have like the great, the greatest stocks. It was just so expensive, um, and the 360 at the time was way cheaper. And to be fair, like, had much better games on it at launch. So it was kind of rare for people to get like the PS3. And I remember the guy at the shop being like, "Really? You you getting one of these?" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I remember thinking like, "Trust me, dude. I could explain it to you, but..." You wouldn't you understand, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, but, I, uh, uh, I was going to say on, on mine, I mean, we talked a little bit about how I started playing Ninja Gaiden, but in terms of the videos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a guy who, you know, again, YouTube was in its infancy. And I remember watching a video and the guy said, and I might have said this before in another stream, but I'll say it. Uh, he's like, all you need to do is skip as many fights as you can, wall jump as much as you need to, flying swallow, and that's how easy the game is. And I was just thinking, man, this game is so much more. I, I'd already joined uh, Game Facts. You know, I'd already been, you know, a little bit a part of that, you know, meeting the guys, talking with them. Again, this was before Iberian Warrior had started up. And I said, well, there has to be 
a better way than people listening to this guy. And I, I had to do something. So we had a, a VCR. And I would plug my Xbox into my VCR and plug it into my 36-inch TV with the big tube that weighed 200 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and I would record, and then I bought a Dazzle. Uh, yeah, that was my first recording device, too, by yeah, the yeah, Pineapple, right? Dazzle. Dazzle, Pineapple, I think. And then I would unplug my VCR, unhook everything, bring it over to my computer, set it all up, capture the you know, the videos and things like that. And then it was like, okay, how do we compress it? Because on YouTube at the time, you only had 10 minutes and 100 megabytes. So it's yep. how can we get good quality? And I remember talking with Weeble 760 and they had a program called Virtual Dub. You could also use Windows Movie Maker to compress it and everything. And uh, that's really kind of how I started because I wanted to put out better information than just skip fights you know and i watch it today kind of really jumping ahead it bothers me that people just want to get through the game as fast as possible and not really explore i mean people can play however they want to play you know don't get me wrong they paid the money for it but the game is so much more i agree and, no they have uh, to play like we play <laughs> <laughs> yeah do it you're wrong yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you're playing the game wrong man you know? yeah but, you know, but, you know, that's the thing. We've never tried to pass that theory along, you know. Well, you know, I will say, you know, I I thought the guy was wrong if he was just promoting that. This is how you have to play the game. This is the only way to play the game. To me, you know, that's wrong. Even if that's his opinion, you know, my opinion is I think he's wrong. Yeah. And obviously with all the, the karma strats out there, the speed running strats, the you know, we, we used to do low score runs and which were a lot of fun. And uh, even though they could be a little boring, but again, there's so many different <laughs> ways to play the game to sit there and say, well, you have to wall spam, wall jump. You have to flying swallow. You have to skip the fights. You know, I, I just disagreed with that. But as so, we said, it's a valid strategy, but it will not make you a better player along the way. And the game is so awesome. And our, uh, and see, here we go. In my opinion, you know, some people don't like it. They don't want to get involved in it and stuff and move on. But you have to learn that. And I think that's the beauty of the game. You have to progress in your skills if you want to progress in the game. And maybe that's true for, for, every, for every game. But, you know, to me, this game is, like JTB said, you're not expecting it and three hits, you're dead. You know, I mean, that's how brutal the game can be. But it's also very challenging and rewarding and i always enjoyed that challenge and the reward and i will throw this in here one more time about my age i am still these guys need to age five more years before they reach the age i was when i started playing the game so i'm an old man i just want to throw that in there <laughs> on, to, uh... on that note though because um, <laughs> this is something that um i i, I found this out um and it's very apparent in the, in the, in the fighting game scene, honestly, <clears throat> is, uh, uh, is like your reaction times, you know, um, cause you, cause uh, honestly, like happened to me, y you feel like they're never going to slow down. You know, you, you're like, Oh no, that's, that's not going to happen. Nah, I'll be fine. Be fine. <laughs> and I remember, um, when I played through, uh, uh, DMC four, the special edition, when that came, cause there was a huge gap between those two games. Um, I it think was. <laughs> was it 2015? They TGD the, the special edition came out. Yeah, well, it was, was like, way was, later. Yeah, it was yeah, it was later. like seven, eight years. Wasn't it? it was a long time. And I played DMC four, like you know, vanilla on on three hundred and sixty. And I played the the special edition, and and there was this thing I always used to do on the nights with Nero, and I kept messing it up. I was like, Man, what? Why? Why? Why can't I do this anymore? Um, and I was looking at, it, I was like, yeah, because that that you're just not reacting quick enough to that attack to do it. Like it's the shield parry. It's like, yeah, you can do that twice and break the shield. Like, and it really took me like a good, like couple of days of playing again to like retrain that reaction, like that specific reaction. And I think, man, I just used to do this. No problem. Like eight years ago. Uh, <laughs> and I think in NNG, like, um, cause it's funny. People say, um, people ask like, you know, like your older stuff, like, were you better then or better now? And it's like, well, I had, I had, better reactions then 
and, and I feel like that can make up for like that can make up for a lot, you know. Whereas now I feel like I feel like I'm better now because, because experience. Of my, yeah, it's, it's experience. Yeah, it's like you know, it's um, it's the old boxer versus like you know the the newer one. It's like yeah, the newer one might be quicker and you know might be you know a little bit more kind of you know quicker on his feet, but but the older one, you know, knows more. He has more experience, so I feel like there is um. There is an element of that that I feel like you need, to, which is why it's good to have more information because sooner or later you're going to get to the point where you know your reactions aren't going to carry you. Yeah, you, you need that information. You need the knowledge to know what's going on. You know, like look at Muramasa in NG two. He's a hundred years old, but those ninjas get fucking wrecked. You know, <laughs> it's like you know he's a hundred years old, but he's got the knowledge. You know, he's got the you know he's got the answers in the back of the book. <laughs> so actually, I want to well, play I as him. You know. <laughs> That would be yeah, cool. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I hope people play as long as I have because I've really enjoyed it. You know, it's like it, you don't have to have young people reflexes to in, enjoy the game or play it at a at a semi high level. I mean, you can still do it with a little knowledge I agree. Yeah. And, yep. and, and and experience. So you know, we we kid about that a lot. Un, unwary every time I come in. You know, he's like, I smell old people or something. You know, always trying to razz me a little bit, but. Having said that, I hope everybody gets to play, you know, and enjoy something into their, you know, don't just because you're in the 40s or 50s, don't think you have to stop playing video games. That's just my opinion. Oh, exactly. Opinion. Yeah. And <laughs> I've been playing, um, I've been playing Super Meat Boy this past week. Um, and that's another game where I'm kind of feeling, I'm like, mm, okay, you know, this is tough. <laughs> like, you know, this yeah. is, you know, this is, this is, this is tricky. Um, Talk to me in 20 years on a no damage run, Godfather. <laughs> Tell me how you feel about it then. <laughs> I, I I can safely I'll still be I will I will still be playing this game in my fifties. I I can safely say that. I probably we'll probably be playing it you know on our like microwaves or something you know emulated because it's you know technology will be that far ahead. But it's um maybe they'll it, it's, add, it's, it's uh, one of those games magically found the fo the source code you know yeah yeah yeah, maybe, yeah we'll yeah we'll have to crack we'll have to crack a copy of yeah. ng won't we and, and get it but um it's just one of those games like this game and resident evil 4 are like my two games like that where i mean they they came out in the same year but i still play them like regularly now and it's like they, they just have that kind of they have that perfect blend of you know whether it's local design that they have that perfect blend of you can know everything but the game can still surprise you yeah, every yeah. now and then and like that just keeps you playing it just it's um that's how you know it's a good game yeah. you know when it passes the test of time and it just gets better yeah. with the uh, with time yes what about you godfather what got you into making the videos well actually <laughs> what got me in making videos is that you pretty much called me out on it back in the day <laughs> you told you told me well if you're that good and you can make that score on karma why don't you you know get something to record video and then i i did it you put me on the spot you know and i was like i'm not backing out of this i'll show what i can do and that's pretty much when i started making video my first video i think if you recall was uh the first part, uh, the first save point, I think, to chapter one that I had done uh, 288, I think, back then it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep. and then after after that, I, I didn't record the rest, but I didn't want to share the strat at first. And that's when, you know, you gave me <laughs> the speech. And then, uh, and then after I started uh, doing the no damage, and I will always remember because it's there in a shit quality april 2007 my first video uploaded on youtube was nightmarish phantasm tree where you fight doku uh, no damage no nimbo and uh, wow that video is still there in a, in a really bad quality you know uh, pixelated but that was uh, my first video ever and uh, after that i got in a couple of also videos of how to do more ut uh, in the early fight you know for example the first fight uh, where i was uh wind patting over the the head you know to fall in that little uh, crevice i guess and then right. you could uh -huh. uh, you could do a static jump after to bait them into jumping back on the higher platform and then do an extra uh, ut that's how i had found i think you could do like uh i think uh, a, a ut and a et or two et and a ut something like this and you could get out 21k out of the first fight uh, 
you did it right so there was a little video like that but that's pretty much how i started making video it was you calling me out on this and saying you should you know if you if you're that good she like prove it you know show it and i i, well, I, I did you're welcome <laughs> you've uh, you just made me try and find my old channel tgd mentioning that i'm seeing what my first video was oh my god oh, your old one your s yeah uh, SB i had an older channel yeah yeah because um fun fact on that because uh, this was before you could change your username um and uh, i was also big into re4 mercenaries when that launched uh th that had one of the best forums on on game facts like m for anyone that doesn't remember, like game facts was a trash fire for the most part like it was terrible like it was just full of you know people that you know were loving the anonymity of the internet it was really bad but like the re4 boards were really good um and i was really into mercenaries at the time like for resident evil 4 um and Pete, this is when people were just starting to post videos of re4 mercenaries and um youtube started putting in like age restrictions for like you know violence and, and stuff on there um which is funny because you know you can still go and watch like movie killing montages and you don't need an account for that, but <laughs> that's a different topic. Right. Yeah. Um, so I, I needed an account. So I, I just, oh man, you know, um, I think it was, um, for anyone who remembers Yamachi from uh, the RE4 days, he had a new castle run up for mercenaries um, and I wanted to watch it and you needed an account. So I just made an account real quick, just like mash the keyboard for a username. Uh, and that's where my old uh, username uh, came ah, from. I didn't know that. That's why I was yeah. like, SBS something. And then yep. I was trying to come up with a username, but that was you mashing just to do yep. an account real quick. It. Wow, yep. bro. And um, <laughs> my first video was uh, Military Destruction Phase 1. Oh, uh, Dynamo. My, my, my one hit run, because um, this was when people were trying to get more videos of uh, no, like, no damage runs, and like pretty much everyone at the time just abandoned like all of military destruction. <laughs> like, that's impossible. <laughs> yeah. um, and that was the one thing at the time that always sort of, whenever someone called something impossible, I thought, mm, is it really though? Let's, let's it, like, how would you do it? You know, if you were gonna do it, like, how would you do it? And uh, and that's what got me to look into it. And uh, yeah, that was December twentieth, two thousand and six. Damn, so earlier than me too. Then two thousand and six yeah. video. Oh my God, mine was April. You see, so that was a little yeah, bit and, earlier. Um, wow. I would have. That was my first video on YouTube. Because another thing on for the YouTube point, because uh, on on the forum on the Iberians forum, like that was a huge thing for a lot of people. Like, oh, why don't we use YouTube more? Uh, and it was because of the ten minutes, the one hundred and fifty megs. Uh, the, the videos look like crap um i mean i'm watching this now um i'm done i'm watching that video and it you can literally count the pixels you know <laughs> like you Just literally swear. can count the pixels like, like yeah like it's like it's like watching tetris <laughs> oh wow and and but whereas on on the forum you know you, you people could download them like uncompressed so it would be um you know like native quality even though it wasn't great but it was better than that for the time um, so this was 2006, but I, you know, I mean, I've been making videos for, fully enough, almost two years, like prior to this. Um, so yeah, Matt, it goes back a while. <laughs> it's going back a few years now. Yeah, right. One of my first videos, I'm kind of looking through. I, I have all of them, but it was uh, Smokes Doku. Very hard. Chapter two, <laughs> The Horseman, back huh? on September the 9th, 2005. Damn. And people had such a hard time with those very hard horsemen and for mm -hmm. the longest time everybody thought it was impossible to make the time limit on that i mean kiori had tried it you know some of the other uh greats of the day because those very hard horsemen on the original ninja gaiden were pinpoint accurate yeah and whenever we met uh <clears throat> jtb and I met in 2013, we drove over to San Diego and we got to meet with Weevil 760 and P. Saren. And we started talking about that. And JTB said, well, I wonder, it was that kick that Ryu does on that string. And it's like, well, that stuns. And then JTB kind of thought about it. And he said, well, if that could stun the horse, right? I mean, that's how it went, wasn't it? I mean. Yeah, pretty much. I remember thinking, um, and I remember coming home because I remember thinking, I can't wait to get home and try that. <laughs> like, see if that works. <laughs> yeah, I remember thinking, I was like, well, XXX forward Y is like a, a stun. So I was thinking, I was kind of mapping it out in my head uh, as I do. And um, that's something that, um, like, the amount of things, like, funnily enough, actually, uh, TGD, uh, 
I can give you kind of a lot of credit for that Master Ninja speed run because it was in one of your streams. I think you talked about like a route for it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and 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 it just sometimes that's all it takes for me. I was thinking, yeah, how would you do Master Ninja? And then I was thinking in my head, I was like, well, those ninjas are, and this is where I get like crazy into like how much I know about the game. I was like, well, those ninjas are worth this amount of essence, and elixirs are worth elixirs cost this, and there's three horsemen, so you'd need that, and you'd need four for that, but then you'd need like five k for the dragon sword. But then you've got three white commandos, and I'm just thinking of all this in my head and think I'm gonna try this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then like I, I kind of got it started and was like, this could be something cool. I'm gonna keep chipping away at this and um it, some some of my um like the movement tutorial exists because i think al mentioned it like just offhand one time um and i feel like that helped a lot of people like kind of get to grips with the movement better so i know um, that i refer to your movement tutorial today in my uh, advanced guide uh, <laughs> on the on the speed run because i pretty much you know, try to explain as much as we can during the encounter and all but then there's a lot of movement in that game and I mm -hmm. say, like, that thing, technically, you need to get a feel for it. But I would say if you want to know more about on landing jump, definitely watch uh, JTV's tutorial, you know, movement tutorial video, and you'll, you'll get to see everything that you need to know pretty much. But, yes, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, 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 that video got so many views. Like, I think, um, I don't know what it's at now, but I remember thinking... I, I always kind of think that, though, to be honest. I never think anyone's going to watch what I make, but um, yeah, <laughs> so when people... Yeah, when people do, I'm like, oh, it's like, and this is something that I know I've talked to Al about as well. Like every time I do a video or someone like mentions something, I think no one's gonna watch that. Um, it always ends up being like a really popular video, and I think, oh, like, it shows what I know. Then, <laughs> like, yeah. you know. Well, I think it's the the information, you know, is that uh, you 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 talk about a lot of stuff that is irrelevant, I guess, and people that yeah, picked suppose, up on think... that you know yeah people that picked up yeah. on that it, it um... gives uh, it gives extra knowledge because there's that there's that thing it's uh, it's actually seraphim by the way shout out to seraphim 17 uh, in the stream but uh, like he, he, he said there's sometimes the two different kind of people you know there's the there's the player that's going to put thousands of hour but he's going to put thousands of hour always trying to learn the better strategy and become better while there's someone else that is just going to play casually for you know thousands of hour but then he's never going to get better because he doesn't necessarily want to learn so there's always i guess yes. two, the two type two type of player there you know they're yeah. the one that's going to want to keep going and trying to make themselves better while mm -hmm. there's people that will just get through the game and that will be enough for them they're going to switch to something else after it but yeah really i feel like um... ng series for having a game that you know again going on 17 years from the original ninja gaiden mm -hmm. 2004 release that people still want to play and i mean i know it's not a big chunk but still how many games from that era are still being played uh, but yeah, you, you, don't yeah, know, I mean, you don't know. You don't know the collection. Uh, the collection coming up. I see a lot of people being hype about it. Indirectly, you know what I said is that if some people get interested enough and in checking the previous game before when they get the collection, especially if you have an Xbox. And by the way, I need to mention that this awesome game is ten dollar digital on the Microsoft Store, which is a fucking steal in my book. Oh, so yeah, so wow. there's no excuse to not, you know, get to play that awesome game at some point. It's... Yeah, and, and on the subject of the remasters, I know when I did stream, I think someone asked, like, you know, what are you what what do you think about like the master collection not having them? And I think, well, like they already gave us NG two remasters for free. Yeah. On the Xbox. Like we didn't have to pay for those. But you can I mean, if you haven't got an Xbox, obviously you have to, you know, you have to pay. But um, I think, you know, it's it, it's a weird question. I feel because I think like we already got them, like you know, they exist. Like, and that's something I, I did actually want to talk about, and I forgot, and I'm glad I thought of it now. Like, um, NG04 in particular, and NGB on the original Xbox. I feel like maybe it's just people haven't gone back and played them, for, you know, for a long time on those systems. But the the Xbox One. Uh, like you know, I know they're called like backwards compatibility, but they they it's a significant upgrade in terms of performance. Like they yeah. look a lot better, they feel better. Like the yeah. frame rate is just rock solid, especially on NG two. Like, um, I, I look at those games as remasters. Like you know, they're not remakes, but like 
the the difference in performance is enough. It's noticeable, definitely. To, yeah, to where I think now, nah, man, like we already got remasters of those games, <laughs> so the fact that we've now got the other three, like, where's the like, you know, I look at it as like, you know, where's the problem here? Like, we we've got ev we've got all five of the games now, you well, know, see, remastered. I, that, I was just gonna say what bothers me the most is because they lost that or, or didn't play it for what or whatever the story is i hate that the hurricane packs are going to be lost yeah that is a yeah i mean that, I, that, that I agree probably on. bothers me the most and it would be nice to to have you know ng04 ninja gaiden black and ninja gaiden 2 and ninja gaiden 3 yeah but there's but, there's other stuff though that uh well, I mean, that I think about, and I think JTV will agree with that, is that, that I, I think it's also a missed opportunity to have extra mods that could even enhance that game. Because can you imagine getting an NGB port on PC and then we get to add new mm. game plus or stuff oh, like no, that no, no. To, to, to the game, you know? Yeah. No, but it's that aspect that I'm thinking of. And another thing also on top of that, yeah, just, just in terms of practice, could you imagine if you could just do a safe state before uh, Smogan after you grab the statue so you don't have to check the animation of opening the door, putting both eyes in, you know? There's little things like this that we don't always think about, but just in terms of practice for certain backtrack, if you want to fight Alma, you know, instead of saving uh, near the elevator, near Doku, you can just get save right before the fight and then you get to fight her and you can just practice her nonstop. So there's little, you know, quality of life, I guess, that you could get on PC that could... Well, just well, make make it better, oh yeah, you know. You know, it's just um, I, I feel like nowadays, and I think that's just the way things are these days. And and it's something that um, it is something that is kind of it, it does bug me. Like I feel like people are almost never satisfied in in this day and age. You know, like they, <laughs> you know, we have like we, as I said, like we, we have like the remasters of pretty much every version of the game, except Vanilla Three, because no one cares about that game anyway. <laughs> but, you know, and I feel like. <laughs> and like, but people like sort of are still like you know oh but we don't have this and I think yeah but look at what we do you have, have and, yeah, and, and also yeah. I think well, that the that category then so like well no I mean yeah but like you're not you're not being a twelve year old about it like you know what oh. I mean it's uh, <laughs> it's the way people are and I think the the thing like I would like if they was to say oh you can, you can have like NGB and NG two on PC or you can have like an NGO four re release with the hurricane packs I would take. Oh, hurricane four and the pack. hurricane packs yeah, yeah. over because yeah we could have mods and all that and i think yeah that's a could have though like but we, we already have, have that good game though that's the thing you know yeah. we can already play and gb yeah exactly it's, it's like we don't have the hurricane, the hurricane pack like, yeah, no, so yeah definitely so, um, would pick that also I, and i think it's just um and I, and I feel like again um not to throw shade but i, I do feel like it is more like a uh, much younger people that kind of feel that way and i think yeah you know it's before the days of like digital games, you know, again, like, you know, there was a time where that wasn't a thing. Um, I feel like now, like that's, that's the thing I like is that now, you know, these games are going to be digital. So, you know, unless, you know, all the game stores like crash and burn, which is pretty unlikely, um, you know, we're going to be able to have these games pretty much for the foreseeable future. Um, that, that right. that's worth a lot you know like we we have ngb ng2 sigma sigma 2 and razor's edge and that's that's pretty good you know that, that's you know that's a lot of ninja gaiden right there yeah so. yeah well it's big as you say it's better and you can still play the other one you know because i don't know if people have told you like oh would you like a ninja gaiden 4 you know and i said well I don't really know what I would be getting and why would I mm -hmm. want something right now when we can already play like those games that are actually good and you know we know they're worth something. Yeah, I mean NG NG4, I mean don't get me wrong if they announced an Ninja Gaiden 4, I would be excited, but I got to admit I I'd, I'd be more thinking ah, is it going to be you know, is it gonna be good though? Like, are they gonna give Rio a stamina bar? Like, because if they are, fuck that. <laughs> you know, um, Rio is a ninja. He is stamina. He doesn't. He doesn't ever get tired. No. You know. Yeah. Well, when you um, think about it, the the jump from NG two thousand four to NGB was awesome. Mm -hmm. And and for some players, the jump from NGB to NG two 
was just as awesome or in my case i mean it was good but it wasn't as good i right it wasn't as good but again that that was my opinion mm. uh sigma kind of you know suffered that same thing but sigma 2 and ninja gaiden 3 wasn't to to me it was a big drop off so having that drop off and then so what's ninja gaiden 4 going to be yeah i mean yeah. surely it i'm, I'm has glad you to mentioned be that better yeah. because if it drops off in any way they have to redeem themselves, in my opinion. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly, if they do yeah. it worse, it's like they just put the the series in the in the coffin, I guess, you know? They yeah. put the final think, nail on it. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, like Ninja Guy, I think a lot of people now, and I don't blame them, because, I mean, Tecmo, I have never seen such, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, such um, on-the-point, like, damage control as they did for Ninja Gaiden 3. A lot of people, I don't think, remember like just how bad vanilla NG3 was. It, you only had one weapon, but you just had the Dragon Sword. Um, they, they they really went like OTT on the story, um, basically trying to make out that like Ryu is this total piece of shit. Um, and it's like, well, wait a minute, like he... Like no, he saved the world twice. Like you know, and <laughs> and, and 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 you know, he, and Ryu is so badass. Like he doesn't even need to get the girl. Like Rachel and Sonya, he just walks away. You know, he's like Sonya, ah, I know, can understand, but Rachel. <laughs> but, but no, you know, he, he you know he is that cool. You know, he he doesn't even need to get the girl. And, and then Vanilla NG three, it's like God, that game was just rough on a lot of levels. Um, I never played and it. They then came I'm out happy, with, by the way. Happy Sorry? When I never played it, and I'm really happy. Because yeah, of that. I, I did. I I played it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was uh, I was determined to find the, the the gold in that game, but there just isn't any, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then Razor's Edge came out like within a year, I think. Um, and uh, you know, it just burned a lot of people. You know, uh, everyone. I get that question all the time. Why did you never play Razor's Edge? It's like because 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 <laughs> burned me so bad, like. It's um, you know, I just could not give it a chance. I'm like, I'll give it a chance now because I have no excuse because I'm basically getting it kind of for free. So, you know, I'll, I'll play it now. But um, what Al said about NG2, I, I did want to touch on a little bit because that was something that I think as a community, I think um, we do need to kind of hold our hands up in retrospect. Like the overall reaction to Ninja Gaiden 2, and this is another thing that annoys me about all these like sudden NG2 diehards that don't know anything about the game. When NG2 came out, people hated that game. Like, that game, it, for the most part in the community, there was maybe half a dozen people that really dug it, like, right off the bat. A, a lot of people, and, and I was guilty of this myself, like, I think a lot of people went into that expecting Ninja Gaiden Black 1.5. Yeah. And we didn't get I that. I did. I did, by the way. Yeah. You want to hear my experience real quick? I got to... Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we should talk about that. Okay, look, um, real quick. Was, like, I hated it. When yeah, it yeah, yeah. Came out. Listen to that. I made my cousin buy an Xbox 360 for that game. You know, I'm thinking NGB is so good, you know, and Ninja yeah. Gaiden 2 is going to be the, the, the successor to that, you know. So I played it. I get to... Giga Death in Chapter 3, and then I mm -hmm. turned off the Xbox and never played it again until I replayed it uh, in 2019 when I did my no damage run, pretty much. So, <laughs> oh, that, so that was my experience with the game, and my cousin was pissed because he wanted a yep. PS4, and I made him buy, or a PS3, and I made him buy an Xbox 360 just for that game because I thought it was going to be good. So yeah, that was, that was rough. Oh man, did you not play the demo then? For NG2. No, I had not played it. I picked oh, it up I, yeah, thinking it was... The... Yeah, it would be awesome. It only and... came out in Japan, I think. I think only Japan got the demo. Because uh, I remember there was a thread. This Because this was when Iberians, the forum, was still around. And I think, uh, shout-outs to Snare. Um, Snare was the one who made a thread on, like, you know, this is how to get the Ninja Gaiden 2 demo. Um, and I, I made a Japanese account, uh, downloaded it. Um, I put in some address. I don't know what it was. But, you know, I was able to play it. And then I remember getting like just bombarded with messages on the 360, like, how are you playing that? How are you playing that? How are you playing that? <laughs> you know, it was like, well, you know, none of you care about NG, so you won't you won't go through the steps, you know, to actually get this. So don't worry about it. Um, but no, I was very much the same. Like, I, and I played it a fair amount. Like, I, I beat it. I beat cleared Master Ninja um, before, like mission mode, and it's why I really kind oh. of speak highly of survival. Like, 
mission mode, like survival, is what really kind of made me fall in love with NG2. Um, until survival, like I, I didn't like the way story mode was laid out. You know that it's like level by level. There's, it, you know, whereas NGB is like this adventure game, and it opens up, and you know you can go back to all the old areas and that 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 kind of thing. Yeah. Um, at, at first, I didn't think the enemy design was like that great. Into I still don't think it's as good as Black, but um, like because there are some enemies in NG2 that are just crap like the worms like <laughs> like like you know they're just they're just buckets of health really yeah. um but um survival is what like really got me kind of hooked on that game and if it wasn't for survival in in mission mode i i honestly don't know if i'd have ever gone back to it um because i was all about karma back then and the karma system in ng2 like there was no time limits there was no ut limit um it was all just you know one hit kusari gama uts um it was, you know, it was rough, you know. Yeah, it, it was really rough. And I think um, that's something that, ironically enough, I feel like, uh, and I did talk about this a while back, but when people say, oh, I want NG4, I feel like what people might w w actually want, but they don't realize it, is like, you probably want a sequel to the NG you like the most. You know, if you like yeah. 2, what you want is Ninja Gaiden 2.5. Yeah. If you like Razor's Edge, you want Razor's Edge 2. If you like black, you want black too. If NG4 is like totally different, I think, you know, people need to think, like, don't do what we did with two. <laughs> and like, yeah. you know, swear it off as like a bad game because it's not like the game we've played for thousands of hours. And, I, and, and it's understandable for that to happen. Um, you know, it happened with DMC4, funnily enough. Like, um, a lot of people didn't like DMC4 because it wasn't DMC3.5. And, it's 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 a pitfall that you can like easily fall into, you know, if you've put like a ton of time into a game, yeah. and then and then the sequel isn't. You know, I I think you have to thing. we have to stay like kind of uh, open minded towards that yeah. because if if you kind of stay close minded, then you have your your idea, and then as soon as it's not that, you're disappointed. So it's, exactly, it's, yeah. it's definitely I guess not the not the way to see it. It's if you if you want to at least try to enjoy it, I would say. One thing I want to mention before I forget is that you know how, for example, NGB is a is the upgrade from Ninja Gaiden 04, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. I, what do you think if NG2 had the same treatment that Black did? Oh man, that's a... I think this was a thread on the forum a while back. Um, and uh, I remember I remember agreeing with Farnham uh, quite a bit on that, and um, what he said. I think... I feel like, N like, I feel like now they've left it too long because in N if they altered stuff in NG2, like, say, for example, they toned down the incendiary shurikens, like, okay. um, let, let's say they just toned it down by, like, 25%. So, you know, for every, like, in, in NG2, for every five that get thrown, or four that get thrown, sorry, they throw one less in, like, Ninja Gaiden 2 Black. For those, like me, that, like, can deal with that madness, I would play NG2 Black and think, ah, I'm, nah, this is too easy. Like, I... You know, I don't like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they, I feel like I, I don't know what I'd change on that because I've kind of learned to juggle that madness now. So, um, I, I don't know. I some some of like the actual like legitimate glitchy stuff. Like, obviously, it'd be nice if that was fixed. But um, other than that, I, I really don't know. Well, like, get rid of the chapter nine worm boss <laughs> and delete that. But, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, okay. Well, one thing I'm gonna put out there, okay, and you tell me what you think about it. What do we think if we add maybe smoke bomb in NG2? Well, I remember uh, uh, JTB in one of my videos when we talked about it. He said smoke bombs are so good, they're not in future. I mean, he's not talking about Sigma because that's kind of you know Ninja Gaiden Black Sigma version, yeah. whatever however you want to say it. But from there on out, they weren't there. So I think. I don't mind that idea at all because one, if you still want the challenge of the incendiary shurikens and all that stuff, hey, you don't have to equip smoke bombs. And if you if you want that or if they need to help you out until you learn better instead of frustrating a lot of people to where they don't want to play, I mean, I think that's smoke bombs were awesome. It, you know, we talked about it in the last video how mm -hmm. no respected them; they didn't get the you know credit that they deserved, yeah. but you know, they are awesome and i think that would be a, an interesting way to add to the game that's a that I, i'm just gonna agree with that because that's a really intelligent way of putting it i was just gonna be like no nah, it'd be too easy 
<laughs> so, <laughs> but it, that's well, the thing. It's it, I mean, we we say that I agree. It's true. They're very good, but they're very yeah. good in the hand of cap, uh, like uh, people that understand the game. You know, that have the yeah. knowledge to use to use them to their mm -hmm. extent. But at the same time. When I really think on it, is it really something that you can cheese your way through the game with? I don't think so. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, I think, um, although I will say, I do think, uh, I like, one thing that still bugs me in, in NGB is uh, when I see people play on difficulties that have cat fiends on them. Yeah. And, and like, they get punished by, and I just drop a smoke bomb. <laughs> just walk right up to them <laughs> and just is gonna drop them you know yeah. i feel like a lot of people don't quite know how good they are even now like it, it's it's a video i've had in mind for a while of like you know kind of pull back the curtain on like just how busted they are yeah. you know it's they are so strong you know where i um, found really how useful they they were where i really found out the potential actually i can mm -hmm. i can sidetrack a little bit on a side story that you guys may not know is that Back then, I I had started on my old recording device. I think it was Easy Cap or still some of that something like Dazzle back then. And I had done Eternal Legend one uh, phase one through three, uh, no damage, no nimpo. Yep. And then back then I got stuck at phase four. I could not, you know, get past phase four. And then I really thought I would never be able to do it, you know. And then when the game got the backward compatibility, I just thought, you know, here's my chance to redo it properly, but with also better recording. So I recorded that, of course, in 1080. But the more I played, because then I got back to phase four, you know, and the more I played, the more I realized that I didn't fully understand how Smoke Bomb were working, you know. And yeah. because they're infinite and eternal legend, at some point, you just, you can just literally drop them non-stop in a certain way and then just kind of see how the enemies behave around it and one thing that i feel like a lot of people well i mean we're not talking about a guide right now but i still want to mention it i i still feel people don't know that if for instance you drop a smoke bomb and an enemy is not facing the direction of you dropping the smoke bomb which means if an enemy did an attack and he's landing uh, like it, to the, you know, facing the back if you want towards the reuse back when you throw the smoke bomb. They will never get the effect of the smoke bomb, and that's something that I didn't know for the longest time. I just thought, you know, hey, you drop a smoke bomb randomly and it has that effect. But there's certain, if you want, little detail that makes the difference, you know, on the behavior of the enemy depend on how you drop the smoke bomb. So that's pretty yeah. much saying that I found out how really they work their full extent uh, in Eternal Legend Phase 4 because that phase, even <laughs> with infinite smoke bomb, is extremely hard to no yeah. damage, no nimpo. And it, 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 it really made me realize how good they were. But for the longest time, I thought I knew how good they were, but I didn't. Well, your smoke bomb into uh, fighting Nishé in Phase 4 was really, really impressive. Well, that's, that's, I know I told JTV, yeah. I'm not taking credit for that strat. I seen the Elfin, uh, Elfin Lid. Uh, yeah, dude, Elfin that's Lion, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That, he was one of the early guys too that that uh, made some really good videos back in the day. Yeah, his quality was really good too back then. Yeah, the the players from Japan really had good quality. Kiori, they did. Really Kiori's videos quality. are still watchable now. I yeah. I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> I guess just, yeah. you can still read the karma on his videos. It's Crazy. Wow, nice. Um, quick question. We can have a bit of fun. Uh, what would smoke bomb UTs be? Seeing as if they were in NG two, they'd have a UT. That smoke bomb UT. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I've got. Here's my idea. Okay, yeah, and I thought of it. I think um, if you do a UT with a smoke bomb, Rachel should just like show up, like you know, just you know, dancing, and like the the enemy should just like, oh, Rachel's there. And, like watch that. And, like, that's it. And like just gives you. It just gives you more time to go. And <laughs> Okay, so so okay, so 
your your version is that you have a ET and a UT of the smoke bomb, and then the UT oh, yeah, is like yeah, an if, extended um, uh, amount yeah, of time for the cloud. I think if you um, actually if you did a smoke cool. bomb UT, yeah, because you think it goes. That's one. Of, that's one of the things where Sigma Two. Because I didn't play a ton of Sigma Two, but I did play it a fair amount. I played like all the way through the difficulties or mission mode, and the biggest gripe I have with Sigma Two, like I, I don't give a crap about the gore and all that. They took out projectile UTs. And I just feel like they added such a cool dynamic to that game that, you know, it's one of those things where I think, why did you take this out? You know, I would, I would love to know what the actual design decision was to think. I mean, maybe they thought they were too powerful. I don't know. I mean, the Windmill Shuriken UT, I feel like, is it's pretty <laughs> nuts. Like, it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, is, it is pretty goddamn good. But I feel like, you know, bow UTs, incendiary UTs, like, they weren't that great yeah but also you get them much later you know for the windmill shuriken it was around yeah, chapter exactly. 11 so, so it's not like I, you could I, exploit I, it the, the whole way yeah around. that um that decision like really bugged me when they took that out because i thought ah you really you really cocked up taking out projectile uts you know uh, and also ng2 didn't uh sigma 2 sorry uh didn't have survival in it so those two things for me were like oh this is a deal breaker you know yeah. like Either or, maybe, but both. You took out like two of the things I love the most about <laughs> about NG two. Yeah, with the projectile. So. A thing actually that even if I wouldn't want to change the game, that I I wouldn't mind if it was like this. Is I would have almost preferred if NGB had a jumping projectile, you know, with the bow to win the game <laughs> because oh i would like that too yeah, yeah. because oh, when you jump in you know in ninja yeah. gaiden 2 even in sigma actually and then you can shoot the bow it, it it just makes i guess for for tanks and all of that i mean don't get me wrong though it wouldn't have made the military destruction too as impressive you know if i if it had that yeah. but at the same time it would have been an, an extra that if it was in the game i i would have appreciated because it, the I aim is, like is yeah. stiff a little, I think, in uh, Ninja Gaiden Black, you know. But uh, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got to be honest. Like, I find the bow like super intuitive. I I don't know. I just, I I know. Um, like I, I don't know. I just find it super easy to use the bow. But the 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 um the the in air bow, it's just fun. It's just one of those things where it's sort of the opposite of what they did in Sigma Two. You know, in Sigma, they're like, oh, let, let, like let's let them shoot the bow in the air. That could be cool, and it is cool. Like you can do a lot of cool shit with that. And then in Sigma 2, they're like, oh, projectile UTs will take them out. You're like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, wrong direction, you know, guys. <laughs> yeah, do, yeah, you went the other way with Sigma 2. Like, why? You, 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 you took away something from us. Um, and, and in black, even now, like, I do miss the in-air bow. It, it's, it would be really cool to have that, but... You know, what do you think? Uh, I know I mentioned that in the other, the other video that we did, but... Uh... I just, I just never could get the hang of it, but yeah, I, I did like the addition of the jumping with the bow. So yeah, yeah, no, it's they, a, they could keep that in. They could keep that in. And it's sure. a nice addition. And also, I just think when you when you say you know that you're you're used to the bow JTB, my opinion is mm -hmm. totally BS on it because I played too much tank, you know, shooting the bow. So <laughs> this is the only reason why I got good with it. To be fair, but. If not, I think if I didn't put as much time shooting with the bow, I would still have a hard time aiming with it. The fact that there's no crosshair, you know, you have no clue sometimes on how your center is. And even so that I don't always hit my shot, even in speed running nowadays. I hit most of them, but there's still some times where I will be off by a little bit and I'm thinking, damn, you know, if only I had that uh, little crosshair or something, I would know exactly where it is. I mean is the fun part of it but it makes it i think trickier to get really always consistent with it you know yeah for cool. sure I, I i i honestly i get really mad whenever i miss a shot <laughs> like, i get really, I get really mad. happy when i could have some consecutive hits <laughs> um, you know one, one thing that's actually here's a good thing and i didn't do this on purpose but um when when i played when, like, before i got into karma i just used to kind of play the game over and over and over again you know and um, and one thing I always used to like doing was, um, you know, the helicopter room in Chapter 9 where all the laser copters come out? Yeah. Um, I used to get really pissed if I didn't do that without missing. Like, if I ever missed a shot, I was like, damn it. Like, <laughs> can't, be, can't be missing a shot. You know, so, um, yeah, I was going to say, like, that's, that might be, like, why I got kind of good with the bow, I guess. Like, I just used to play, I, I played that helicopter room so many times, <laughs> like, with, just with the bow and... 
I was like, you know, if I could do that without missing, I was like, ah, that's good. Nah, yeah, not only that, uh, I, I'm not forgetting, mm. JTV, you also have the, the war record on military destruction four, and it's the chopper. So it's you chopper shot mission. the yeah, chopper that's, that's a lot. That's my second favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's my second so, favorite mission. So you have to um, think, like, you shot a lot with the bow, you know? So your yeah. opinion is also a little BS on that. We shot the bow too much over time, I think. Yeah, for, for sure. Like, I think <laughs> if, they did an, if they did, like, a proper remaster, yeah, put a crosshair in. It's a, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Just, just. I've said this before, but I, I take a little posty note. Yeah, yeah, and, and put I, it in the middle, yeah, right, of your. <laughs> and I, and I still miss. That's the sad part, you know. I always shoot between their legs or shoot under their arm or, uh, or something like that. But for people who aren't as good as TGD and JTB with the bow, or you know some of the other speedrunners, you know that that helps a lot. And uh, yes, it's cheating in a little bit, but. You know, it's uh, well, it helps me. You know, that, that's all I can say. It, it helps me. <laughs> so, I yeah, just thought of another good uh, uh, bow aiming thing actually. Um, you know, in chapter nine, where uh, the enemies drop down in the turntable fight, yeah, yeah. Um, one thing I used to love to do, like shooting them as they walk out <laughs> so they don't even drop down. Oh, you can, can, oh, nice. can you do that though? You can, you can, yeah, but it's a super tight window, yeah, because because when they first walk out, um they're not actually uh, like they're not active like you can't actually shoot them you have to wait until they walk out just a little bit so you'll actually hit them like so that like they don't have like an active hitbox until they just walk out of like the, the door for lack of a better word oh, also quick question yeah how do they not break their legs doing that because yeah. they're only just regular people and yet they, <laughs> they just walk out and just land on their feet yeah, like, yeah, they, from like they have slinky feet, under yeah. their boots or something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they, they are um, armored, yeah. armored right so they have the Either that, that or they have some really good uh, chuck, insoles. Chuck absorber chuck or soul. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, must do. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's another good thing that kind of like unironically, like now that I think about it. And this kind of ties into what I was saying earlier. Like when, when me and Al would do commentary, um, I know he always says like, oh, sometimes I ask a question and like, because people sometimes say, I don't know if they don't, like, just don't get like our humor, but um, it's all like sometimes like you talk over each other or something and it's like, you, well, a because to commentate this game is is pretty tough because it's really fast. Like it's it, it's tough to keep up like play by play. Um, but more often than not, like so many videos have come from just like a question Al has asked on a on a commentary. He, he's he's asked something. It's oh, why do you do that? And I think it, it's something I don't think about because I do it so Naturally. often. It's like oh yeah, like why do I? What am I doing there? Like that's a good question because the you know you play you get to a point where you've played so much. You 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 almost stop thinking about little things that you do because to you they're just natural. More, yeah. It's just not like I don't even think when I'm doing that. Force of habit. Um, yeah. So that that's why it's really good to have, and that's why it's always good for new people to start playing because sometimes like a new player asking you a question, you think that's a good question. I should explain that, <laughs> you know, in in more detail. Um, okay. and, and that's kind of how you get better, you yeah. know? So. Actually, I have a good example now that you say that. Recently, uh, you know, in, uh, in Chapter 3, after the bunk bed fight, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so you drag the essence down there to the elevator fight, you know? And then recently, I think it was Razor on uh, my, my stream that asked me uh, how I was getting the ET to chop the... Uh, old guys off you know because he oh, yeah. said he was doing it and he was always getting one and then i was telling him well i'm pushing my joystick in the direction that ryu is jumping in and i see that the enemies are located you know where they are so i push the joystick towards there but then i'm so used to doing that that i never really re really paid attention to how i positioned my actual joystick you know and it made me yeah. think it made me think at that point like that's a good question for him because if he's not able to do it cons consistently or consistent and I do it every single time without even thinking about it is because I'm doing specific, something specific with my joystick and then I checked at that very moment what I was doing and then I told him and after that now he's getting it nonstop without any problem, you know? So yeah, it's, it's just that thing as you say is that sometimes you're so used to doing something as silly as it might look might think it's simple for you because you know about it. You kind of integrated it in your gameplay, yeah. and 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 then someone else asks, and you're just like, oh yeah, that's true. I didn't even realize I was doing you know something special there. And yeah, another good example. Uh, I know I did a couple of streams. This was going back a 
few years but now but um with like controller cam well like i had the controller on like you know instead of me yeah, yeah. um which is probably an upgrade but um <laughs> and uh, people like i i do it without even thinking you know when like you 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 roll jump or like you you do anything pretty much where like you have to take your right thumb off the analog stick to hit the face buttons yeah and then like my left thumb like reaches over to move the camera yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. then like yeah people like wow like is that how you're moving the camera when you're doing all this stuff? And and I thought I thought yeah, like do, do, does everyone not do that? Like no, not think, a oh, lot of like, people you, do that. Yeah, because yeah, you think I oh that, that. that's just yeah, yeah, I know yeah what it's, you it's mean. just one of those things. Yeah, it's so useful. I do that in the labyrinth actually with the the fish that on landing jump. I just yeah change my camera a little bit with my thumb each time and put it back on the jump. Switch 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 switch. Yeah, yeah, it's very useful. But uh, yeah, it yeah. seems that a lot of people don't know that you can do that, and it's tricky. But yeah, very useful. It, yeah, it is, and and I think it's tricky. But it, it's sort of the downside of having like so much experience is, you know, you you do you, and you, and it's not from like sort of a a big headed perspective, but it's you just don't think. It's like an unconscious thing. Yeah. Well, doesn't everyone do this? Like, you know, it's a you're not sure of like you're not conscious of what you're not thinking about it's kind of weird <laughs> and then someone asks you and you're like okay yeah you know uh, i might be yeah. doing something special there and that's so uh, yeah it's pretty cool actually pretty nice i think that's one reason why jtb and i have you know developed over the years we're going on eight years now of commentary but you know he's actually the expert of the game and i try to think though as what newer players would do or even from my own lack of understanding of the game and i always try to whether it's obvious or we've talked about it before yeah you know for the newer players and things like that you know having those things and if it gets people understanding and playing more i think that's the instead of why why aren't you doing it you should know this by now we've already talked about it yeah and that's uh, how there's yeah. an evolution though in the game too by sharing stuff like this you know i think because then someone else exactly. finds something else and then they share it and then it's a constant evolution, I think, because of how great yeah. that game is. It's it continues, you know, continues nonstop. Yeah, and one my the happiest thing I can comment on that that I feel like I do feel like I had a little bit of influence on it. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to take all the credit, but um, I remember when I first saw like speed running for this game in I want to say like 2013 or so. Like I can't remember when I, I first did my run, but um no one played with the karma window on and that oh, used to bug the shit out of me i agree <laughs> I, used to, I always used to say, like, have the karma window on like it's a speed run you have a built-in timer why would you not want that also you can keep track of and your you... enemy's number and all exactly. of that it's so yeah, important exactly. all that yeah. stuff and yet and now like more often than not like um i can't remember who i was i was watching someone on twitch so a new player and they had the karma window on and i thought a lot of people have got the karma window on lately like is that me like is that like is that me like just going on about it for years like well i mean to be fair yeah. every time i've seen people playing with that off because i remember uh major richie that's now third place on uh, speed mm -hmm. run shout out to him by the way he was not playing with it at first you know he always had it off and then i was thinking Dude, how can you play with it off? You know, you get in the zombie yep. room, you don't even know how many zombie you killed. If you're close to having your 15, you know, there's a yeah. bunch of places where it's so useful to have it open. And even yeah. even just if it's just to keep track of your kill, like if in the monk room you jump on the wall, you throw a double incendiary shuriken, it's nice to be able to see that one kill so you know you killed a monk, exactly. you know? Yeah. It's it's Instead little things. Flying around somewhere else. Exactly. Yeah. And and, um, and also as well, like for, I, I remember on on the topic of speed running, this again, this is going back a long time because it was like, oh, you know, how can you like validate a run sort of thing? And, and that's why I made a big deal about it. I was like, well, if you have the karma window on, you that's it. Like you can't cheat. Yeah. You know, if if if, if you know, if you have that karma window on, um and you know someone's score changes or they magically turn the window off somewhere you think okay like why'd you do that <laughs> you know, like you don't um and this uh, this happened on stream a while back but um the there, there is like a couple of other no damage runs for ngb yeah and there was a bit of like there was a bit of talk about oh is this cut together or not um, yeah. And it was in chapter seven. Blue room, red room, right? In, <laughs> yeah, it was the red and blue room, and I, I remember working it out on stream. And people were like blown away. It's like, well, I just went. It's like, well, he had a UT here. He had a UT here. 
the seconds are worth this many points. He should be on like 4.21 million and he's on 3.91. Like he skipped those fights. Like that's, it's a cut right there. <laughs> you know, it's the karma window is like a built in, like cheat filter, you know, it's like, yeah, so because there's no you way know, you're going to be able to replicate the fight the same way in this game. Like, right. yeah, you're good, not going to get it like good, frame perfect. Good luck doing that. You know, the same amount yeah. of combo, you tap the same yeah. place and all, especially in a longer fight, uh, not going to happen. Yeah. But, um, and that, that's kind of where that came from for me. I was like, well, if you want like a, a way to validate runs, just make it a rule that you have to have the karma window on and problem solved. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, I kind of I kind of agree with that. That's why also, I don't know if you ever seen that video, uh, JTB, now that you mentioned it, and I never believed that video is there. There's someone uh, that's on the uh, TKMO's channel too, I think, uh, that posted supposedly chapter 11 ninja gaiden 2 like single segment from the beginning to the end no damage and i've not seen that yeah and i just i saw the vid but no you know the karma window is not open and to me it's just too easy especially as music over the video and all of that oh, it's, it's wow. very it's Come very on. fucking sketchy you know it's very is there sketchy. Any, like... Can you link that to me? Because I'd actually like to see it. Because uh, I was going to say... Wait a um, second, I'll try to find it for you. Yes. Yeah, I, I was going to say... Because one of them, another NG one I've seen, um, where it's super obvious, is um, in Chapter 5, They uh, there's a cut like in between the Fiends and Hydra Cubus cutscene. And the music is that, like, you know, the, the music track that plays during that fight is like in a completely different place in the song. You know when the cut comes in, <laughs> and I'm thinking, man, they didn't even try and hide that. Like, you know, that was, that was yeah. just blatant. Yeah, right. Oh my god. Uh, I think the person might have. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, no, never mind. The person, I think, removed the video. I thought I saw it, but no, it was. Oh, uh, it was far enough that they removed. They removed the video because I, I swear, I got, I called it out, you know, and they, it, it was saying single segment, chapter 11, no damage, dude, and I just watched that, you know, and it had music over it, uh, and I just, I was just thinking, you know, like, there, there's something fishy going on there, I'll try to stop. I would love to see that done for real, but man, like, for anyone that hasn't played like ng2 master ninja chapter 11 to do that no damage in one go yeah jesus that is i will say this though i never thought anybody was going to do md2 no hurt so you know everybody thought that was impossible well yeah. it only took what 15 years yeah because i, 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 I wouldn't say i wouldn't say because so snare came close like he 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 kind of, I think like Snare kind of proved it was possible. Like you know, in theory, it was just one of those right. things where is anyone gonna actually have like the, the determination to pull this off? You know, because yeah. I think Thank you know you, it, Godfather. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's it's nuts, man. Um, like because that was um because now like every single mission mode. Uh, one thing that I, I really love about the forum as well is um not to get off. I know we kind of hop around on topics here, but um. If you're listening to this, like, go join the forum. <laughs> like, shameless plug, but like, go join the yeah, forum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there's so sure. much stuff on there that you won't see anywhere else. Um, and one of the best things I I love about our forum is that mission mode video thread. Now, yes, it's it's so good. It, you know that like every mission's no hurt, no nimbo. I we have um, I'm just checking now. Uh, we have 32 world record high scores on video out of you know the 46 missions uh just for a bit of perspective we used to have like four <laughs> you, know? <laughs> yeah. and, you know just a couple of years ago um i did add a wooden sword segment even though that's that was a perfect example because people always asked for wooden sword videos and i was like no one's gonna watch that it's boring and then and a of lot course, of people everyone, liked it everyone yeah. watched them. <laughs> yeah so i think okay like, i don't know shit <laughs> like um but yeah you know and that's a, that's such a good kind of preservation of, of the game uh and, and you know my speed run stuff for mission modes on there even though nobody is speed running mission mode but that's a different topic that's um, awesome uh, everybody should watch that yeah yeah i've watched it actually it's really interesting uh, I, i've enjoyed it actually i keep and, telling yeah. you nobody's gonna nobody's gonna do it or have i feel like someone will <laughs> yeah, right. yeah someone will at some point i mean yeah, yeah. someone will oh, um, well it is a I, challenge I, now we're so, throwing down the gauntlet godfather <laughs> so, <JTB. laughs> so now, now that you mentioned though military destruction do you want to guess, though, the three missions that uh, were the hardest for me to no damage, no input in the game? 
Beside military Aside destruction. from MD2? Yeah, well, I mean, so two other than... There's two oh, other... Oh, so two others. Yeah, there's Got two other... Five. What? Got you five? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would say probably Got you five, and for the last one... um, I, I, I want to say MD4, but if you get a good helicopter pan, it's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, I know that's like perspective, like it's, it's not that Well, bad. I'll tell you the one that I think was the roughest yeah. uh, beside that. I mean, well, there's probably two other, of course, Eternal probably Legend, Descent of you know. Descent of the Fiend 5, yeah. maybe. Like, yeah, that, yeah, say Descent, that's tough. Descent of no the Fiend input. 5, yeah. 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 Descent of the Fiend that, that, 5. I mean, uh, I say it's tough, but it, it's kind of, you've got Nishé. She's kind of, I feel like Nishé yeah, would be the wild the worst, card. Yeah, that's the worst fight. Yeah, no. yeah, that's, that's the, yeah, that's the worst fight, definitely. Yeah. Because you have a limited smoke bomb in there, so... Yep. You can do the dark dra dragon, you know, strat, but it's it's yeah, a that, lot uh, harder. Now that you mention it, uh, that was probably the hardest mission to Wooden Sword was Descent of the Fiends Five because yeah. Nishe is just, gosh, she's just evil. Like I think on the run, I actually got it on. I think I did put it in the video. She she kills more minions than I do <laughs> in that in that video. I think she kills eleven crab fiends, and and she only has eight. You know, as minions, but they respawn in mission mode. Yeah, and she kills so many of them. It's like, nice. yeah, well, that's that's good in a way. But yeah, that those three missions were were the hardest, uh, definitely to yeah. do. Because to get, you know, uh, the problem with the Giant of the Underworld uh, Five is that you need a, a really specific Ishtaros pattern because it just doesn't fit, you know, with uh, yeah Nikkei. It, it does not fit at all. So you need a really specific pattern, and then I don't even think I could redo it if I retried again. It's that thing. I think there was those one-time thing, and I told myself if I ever get that, I'm never playing those mission again. Because I also, uh, by the way, you, you know how it happened, Military Destruction 2, is that every time I was getting hit at the beginning... I was not closing the mission. I was trying to up the karma point, you know. I was saying I'm just going to turn it into a karma run and try it. Yeah. But then when I pushed the score high enough, because I don't know how high I went, but Sneb back then was really higher than most people because he had played that mission a lot, you know. And, yeah. then, and then I don't know how much I pushed it, but I think I pushed it to 6 20? It's over 600k now. Yeah, I don't remember the score exactly. I could go check real quick. So, yeah, so I pu I push it quite a bit. And then after, you know, I just told myself, well, at that point, it's time to really just go for the no damage, no nimpo, you know. And that's when every time I was getting it at the beginning, regardless, I was restarting the mission. And that was, uh, yeah, the, it was really for real hell to... Uh, yeah. To, to do that mission for for years on and off and i didn't think it could be done and then after i saw snes send me a message you know saying how proud he was of the I, the, yep. the, the full completion Sned, i mean he give, gotta give him pro like snare tried that for a long time yeah he posted yeah he posted multiple like one hit runs i think i think he got to the second wave of um you know uh, tank, of, of like yeah. soldiers yeah. on the second tank and like just gets clipped by one bullet and you that's the that is the most infuriating thing when going for military destruction no hurts is you know when they're shooting yeah and they're going like full auto it's when they just shoot one bullet and it hits you <laughs> it's it, it, it's like you you want to reach into the game and they like just tear their head off it's like you motherfucker like you know, it's like one bullet, really. It's and like, it happened you know. a lot, by the way, that I got to, you know, that second wave and then uh, yeah. the last one. And then I was just getting hit by, well, by just one tiny thing and then fucking up the entire run, you know. So that's why if you even recheck that, I don't know if you remember at the end, but when I clear the second wave, I'm so calm in the sense that i'm like dude you won't get me with your fucking turret pattern and all you know i'm gonna take my time and even at the end where i could have got greedy for the last hit and shot it i wait for the turn of the the cannon to dodge it and then shoot the last arrow you know just yeah. just in a way that i i pretty much i told myself that at that point i'm just saying you're not fucking this up when you're reaching that yep. you know and it's the same by the way in those other missions because there's there's big pressure and it, it i don't know if it ever happened to me but even for instance in the giant of the underworld 4 and giant of the underworld 5 that's what i wanted to tell you both of you because you might not know but 
when I got my no damage, no nimpo, and I cleared one of them, I never choked like 1v1 against the remaining one, you know? So if I, if I had clear, we'll say one of the boss, uh, we'll say it was Nietzsche on the... Uh, on Giant of the Underworld 4 before, you know, same with the other one. So when I was yeah. 1v1 against Alma or 1v1 against Ishtaros, there was, I, I, I was really focused because I knew, you know, in those specific type of mission that it's my one time. I might never get that opportunity again. So yeah. make it count. And then I, I sealed it off, you know, but it, I was, I thought I was going to have almost a heart attack after those missions. <laughs> <laughs> for, That's, um, for real. I noticed, uh, yeah, I know. I think it was one of one of Unwary's videos. I can't remember which one it was though. Um, and uh, I've I mentioned it on stream before as well. Like, it'd be cool to have a heart rate monitor on um, for when you're doing streams. Because I know wow. um, when I did that, uh, when I did the mission mode Master Ninja speed run, um, there there are some close calls in that run where, like, if because the thing about that run is, if you die, like dying, like isn't a run killer depending on what mission you die on like um i i, I don't know if my current runs deathless I, it might be i don't know but um but it's funny like you can have a good run of a mission and not die but it can be slower than if you get like a bad run and die early and then your next attempt is like perfect you know you can actually gain time, time. yeah and i remember thinking yeah it'd be, it'd be cool to have a heart rate monitor on because sometimes when i've played this game especially like way back when um, you know, when your heart is, you can literally feel it like pounding in yeah. in your chest. Like I, I've had that a lot playing this game, and I, I would love to know, like, yeah, what is my heart rate at, at some of these? I mean, karma running <laughs> stuff and that. Like, you know, what is it actually getting up to? Because I feel like you know, if you can feel it, it's probably pretty uh, pretty high. Yeah, you know? yeah, because it's crazy. But well, yeah, I, I know that feeling. <laughs> Go ahead, there we go. On a battlefield of the abyss three, and. You know, you guys talk about the no damage and all that stuff. I'm just, you know, I talk about just trying to get through it. You know, so, so I mean, there is a big difference that people need to understand. You know, just getting through these missions without using elixirs is is still extremely hard, in my yeah. opinion. You know, again, in, in my opinion. Uh, it is. And, oh, it is. I mean, but, yeah, uh, it's not whenever easy. Whenever I was going to get... Uh, Battlefield of the Abyss 3, and that's farming Marvis with the nunchucks, and then those two berserkers. And you talk about the heart rate. I remember, you know, getting past the first berserker, and then totally dogging it on the second berserker. You know, something like that would happen, but whenever I finally did it, and JTB and I were commentating on it, and I almost dogged it when I had it pretty easy. Same with Hydrocubus on, on that video but right there, but I'll never forget. I After I finished that video... I actually went, my poor wife, she was asleep. I went and woke her up and I'm like, feel my chest, just how fast. And that's the great thing about this game is how it can make your, you know, your heart race and, and excitement. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, uh, but that, that just means we're passionate. <laughs> that just means we're passionate about it. You know, that's the yeah. passion there. Cause if you don't, if you don't get that, is that, well, the game doesn't bring that to you. You don't ultimately really care about it. But I think this game with the speed and how everything happens, that when you do great stuff, it feels, I don't know, it feels better than other games. Is it bad for me to oh, say yeah. that? It's, yeah. it's, nah, it's, I 100% yeah. agree. Um, the, 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 the first time I beat Master Ninja on NGB, man, I, I remember just exploding. You know, and my my, my like <laughs> my parents <laughs> like were like what are you making so much noise for? Like <laughs> I was like, ah, you won't get it. <laughs> I was like, you won't understand. What was your proudest um, moment? Mine was defeating the Great Bridge Challenge on Master Ninja for the first time. I think that was the oh uh, the proudest the moment really for the first out. thing that you do. Like I wouldn't remember that because the time that I played and I sucked at it. Uh, is the period before I started making videos in 2007 and I that's a blur that's a blur uh, mm. I was too young and yeah I don't remember really I remember mine I do remember mine this, this was a topic actually way back when on on the forum on, on the old forum uh, and, and this is another one where like I wish we still had this topic um but we don't and um there, there was a thread I can't remember who made it but they said like what's your proudest ng moment um, and it was weird, like, because a lot of the veterans were still, like, you know, around at that time. 
and most of them like posted pretty recent stuff and to me this is weird but, like to me it was just beating all missions on master ninja like when i saw all 46 you know kunai scrolls right. i remember thinking i'm a fucking beast you know <laughs> i'm i'm a <laughs> man I, I felt really good about that because i mean that was probably only what like maybe a couple of weeks after the game had come out yeah and um, that's impressive. you know and, and and you go on like game facts and like, you know there are people that you know struggling really struggling <laughs> like with normal um and you think man okay i'm again and and i think this is the problem especially at that time and it's probably why you know i i probably was a, a bit cockier back then than i probably realized and thankfully all those posts are gone now so uh, yeah. <laughs> you know no one can have a look like game facts don't keep all their stuff so um yeah it was um it, it can easily go to your head and that's something that now i think is really important like you know if someone asked me that question now they probably would expect me to say like oh the mission mode master ninja speed run it was like no it was beating all missions on master ninja like that felt amazing to me at the time you know it, it felt and don't get me wrong like the stuff i do now still feels good but it's um that just felt so good to to have all that completed you know when the game was you know everyone was kind of going at it throwing themselves against the wall and it was just a great feeling to see all those missions on master ninja and my i still remember my karma score at the, t at the time it was 35.32 million oh that's pretty good i think for yeah, that's it, really it's not good. bad yeah so yeah, for, um, first, that's something uh, yeah. that me and al talk about um is like nowadays and, and it's kind of the downside of the game actually this would be a, a good topic i think is now i feel bad for people that get into this game and like they beat all missions on master ninja or something and it's not wrong if someone would say it but it's like well you know did you do it without any items or anything because the game is so like fleshed out now i feel like you have to do something pretty crazy to get noticed which is a shame because you know the game is so well figured out that you know someone could post like a like you know someone could post like a two hour speed run and that's not bad by any stretch but it but it's not quite you know on that competitive level and it's it, it must be pretty daunting for like a a, a new that's why i really hope uh gala can come on sometime because i'd really love to pick her brain about that and you know right. yeah we'll like, try to make a the time for it uh, for for a time zone and all of that and then yeah. you too you too yeah yeah, yeah. I, I talked to her I, about I, it we'll, uh, we'll we'll try to make something happen because because i think movement ironically enough like i don't think movement is intuitive in this game at all I think moving well is hard. You yeah, know, it, it is. takes a while oh, to is. learn movement. Absolutely. And, I and, said and, in, that and in a lot of games, video where Sorry? we did the commentary on one of your speed runs before you know it really took off. I said, y'all can fight as good as JTB. Y'all can fight the bosses and the enemies, but if you can't move like him, you're not going to beat his record. And you look at all the top players who have beaten his record. And again, he only did it in five tries, but yeah. <laughs> their, uh, their movement has to be on par with him. And the people who haven't done it, I'm not trying to disparage them at all because my movement sucks and I could never do the times that some of these guys do. But I think if you understand the patterns on the bosses to fight and, and, and what to do and you know when to put in items and all that stuff, well, then how are you going to make up other than the luck? that you could have yeah but it's going to be your movement the on landing jumps that y'all do and when to do them and things like that again we go so we stray so much on these videos so again everybody we're uh we're just having fun yeah <laughs> just to follow up on that real quick though um that segmented master ninja run i posted the other day um i i feel pretty confident in like the core root of that run there's a few things that maybe i would change but it wasn't something i kind of did with a competitive thing in mind it was just kind of a, a stress thing i needed a distraction but one thing i did notice when i was um like looking at clips and, and testing stuff you would be amazed at how much time you can lose just with like an off angled roll jump versus one that like means you don't have to move again to carry on going forward yeah, it's not like that the, times the whole game yeah 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 you look at chapter eight is a good example uh, my chapter eight on that run that's going to be tough to beat. Like, I, if someone goes for that, right? I hope someone does. Um, but I'm, I remember looking at that while editing that video and thinking, God, these lines are really precise. And like, I don't, 
like I don't miss any shots here. Like, you know, I'm thinking I, I always look at stuff like when I look at the video and I always look at it and think, how would I beat this? Like, if, especially if it's my own video, I think, how would I beat this? And on that chapter eight, I remember thinking maybe you could do like the 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 the, the debilero to the tower to the tower fight like quicker. Maybe you could do better movement there, but I don't know. It, it, it's a tricky one that, uh, and I feel like it it really it's something that you might not appreciate until you actually go and like look at your video, you know, side by side, like in an editor, and think, okay, this is the this is like way one of doing it, and this is way two, and you can think, oh, this is actually faster like damn like i um you wouldn't on that think note, that, actually, yeah yeah um i found that i showed it in that run but you know in chapter six where you flip off the bars um uh, when you flip like you know the the, the thing chases you the big the yeah, big ball the boulder yeah. um it yeah i found it out by complete accident but it's faster to jump backwards and jump straight down off the bars because i totally dogged it one time <laughs> and, and jumped backwards by accident Oh, but yeah? then it, I thought, yeah, I thought, wait, that looks faster. Like, you know, it was one of those things where you think, is it really though? And then you go and test it. And it's only by, I think it's literally only like by maybe three seconds. But I think, well, that's three seconds. Like that's, right. it's not a lot of time. But, um, and, uh, and I found that because, you know, on the Xbox 360, when you play this, um, you know how sometimes you get that annoying glitch where Ryu just spins on the bar constantly. And oh. like you can press, you can jump, but he won't get off the bar. Yeah, yeah. Well, it still and... happens sometimes, by the way. Yeah, it does. It yeah, does, yeah. It happens does, on Xbox does. One, yeah, but not nearly as much, thankfully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was doing that. Um, and what led me to find that was uh, I jumped off and did an air destruction slash, like B Y, to try and make the gap. But obviously, it doesn't work. Um, but you land so close to the platform where the where the tail is for the bone dragon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I remember thinking, can you make that jump like out of the cutscene, and then and then you're already on the level where the gate is, so you wouldn't have to like go down the long way. You could just jump straight left and run to the gate. You can make that jump, but not from the cutscene because the cutscene you have a fixed angle on the pole. You need to be like just a little bit to the right, and you can actually make that jump. And then I was I was trying to practice that and accidentally jump backwards, and then found that. So you know. You you never know like so sometimes some of the best stuff is found by like completely messing something yeah, up. Yeah, messing <laughs> something up. I totally yeah. I totally agree with that. But I will need yeah. by the way to watch that run. And there's another question. It's funny because Unwary was uh, was talking about it, and I've been thinking about it too. Is mm -hmm. that I think you know your run from what I heard. I didn't watch it, and I'm going to. Is that he says that at, at the end when you get to chapter 16, you get the quick teleport to Morai. Which means oh, yeah. technically that you got all the way to Mirai, you got killed, and yep. then you reset at the beginning of chapter one, right? So, does that count on your IGT? Um, no, it doesn't, because I mean that's a segmented thing only, like you know, because if you did that on single segment, <laughs> you're gonna be over. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, you no, but that. what I'm wondering yeah. is that could, do you think they could be <laughs> like maybe a slightly different category where you get to Mirai and then you? There could be, but um, I feel like if if segmented becomes a category, I feel like there's no point to not do that because I feel like it, it's like it's not a glitch, like it, it like that's built into the game. You know, it's sort of... Um, yeah, 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 but I that's what like I was it, asking. It, I wasn't sure if yeah. it was counting your IGT and uh, Nonwaru was curious about it too, so... About... No, it doesn't, yeah. Oh. So if, if you... That doesn't add on to your in-game timer. Okay. Um, funnily enough, the main reason I did that, like, honestly, was because I was so close to sub-145, and I thought, hmm... How, how can <laughs> I like, shave up those... Uh, those I was like, yeah, if I seconds. do that, will, will that give me sub-145? So I know, um, did you do the the Ice Cavern uh, shortcut in that run? or? Uh... Oh, no, because I've not practiced that. Ah, I wanted say. to see so it. Yeah. It's all right. Because yeah, so I'm that, sure you would do it. You would, you would do them. I, I know, you would do them easily. Uh, yeah, on segmented, I would. But, like, that run is more... I, I wanted to figure out, like, a, a proper, like, single segment route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah proper, like, yeah, yeah. You know, proper like, routing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let me look at that because I have a set. I have a single segment run. I've just not posted it. I, I don't know if I will. To be honest. I time, I, I I tell you. Know. I told you I will uh, once I get the time that satisfying enough uh, on normal. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll give it a shot on Master Ninja because I know yeah. it's. Can you uh, beat it again? Yeah, I beat it, but by ten seconds. I think realistically right now, so you can see my time uh, on the on the screen or no? I don't think you can see it, right? Can you see it here? 
So, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so uh, I I think roughly like you see the sum of my best. That's yeah. this. I think I could roughly do maybe a low 139, I 138 realistically. You know, if everything yeah. went according to plan. So that's that's pretty Is much. Is there a time where you're just gonna say, you know what, I'm done? Well, that might be if I get a really satisfying run. But well, I mean, if you don't. But uh, well, I mean. Unless unless something in life comes and I can't play anymore, I'll just keep going, you know. I mean, have you known me to back down on those challenges before, Big well, I'm just saying, I just wonder if it gets, you know, it's like, okay, you know, I'm tired of this. I want to move on or something. But I, it, it's interesting that I'd be like, man, I got the record. I'm going to move on or something. You know, well, so I can't sit there. That, but, you know, the other part of that, too, is I can't sit there and how y'all play through the game. You know, for me to sit here for as long as I have, uh, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to to watch the speed runs all the way through and and things. I just can't do it anymore like I used to. And uh, so I would just think as many times as you have gone for this and the resets and the restarts and the days after days, is there a point where you're like, you know what, I'm happy with what I've got? But you're saying right now, no. No, be well, no, because I just see the potential, you know, that's the problem. Right, and right. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. So when I see that, I, problem, yeah. I just try <laughs> to go like for it. Yeah, I just try to go for yeah. it. You know, if I, it's the real thing also, it's what JTB said earlier. If I know I can do something, especially when I still have the reflexes for it, I'm still going to push for it as much as I can, because there might be a time, sadly, you know, that my, even with the experience, that my will, my reflexes will not be there to be able to pull up that stuff, and at least I will have done it, if you want, to the best of my ability when wow. it was, uh, when it was time, you know, so, well, uh, I yeah, I can, I can relate to my, that. My uh, got you five, you know, and, and the old, whenever I had my high, you know, 49 million and something before my saves corrupted and I lost everything. Yeah. I was able to do got you five, no elixirs, but I, I just couldn't do it. You know, uh, now that's the only mission on master ninja that I couldn't beat, you know, no elixirs. I think I ended up, I got one bad roll and then some other, you know, just mistakes, but you know, and, and you know, it got to the point after six weeks, of trying it off and on, I said, you know what, I'm done. So I was just wondering if there was a point where you're like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe I haven't reached. Uh, I didn't reach that point yet. Yeah, I don't know when you get there. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't reach that point yet. And also now I'm gonna get a break from it a little bit, you know, because the master collection. I mean, I'm gonna switch to uh, Sigma for a little bit, probably run it also. Uh, so it'll, it'll, I'll take a little break on and off, and and that's that's. Basically, the only the other thing, Bigal, is that I I tried to play also other game off stream. You know, I, I always stream that game pretty much every week daily. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it's my main game, obviously. But the rest, I mean, uh, at night I play other game with friends that are much lighter. You know, I play uh, I play PGA Tour 2K21 with some of my friends just for fun. You know, a golf game. Uh, I play right. I play Warzone sometimes with some of my bud. Uh, so. I, I do play games that are not at all like NGB, you know, because even if it is my favorite game and I, I will always like it, there, I think there's still a limit to how much I think you can play a game at some point without getting burned out. So those yeah. those games in between are just, I think, a, a good balance for me where when I come back to this game, it makes me appreciate it. And I'm not going to lie, at first, uh, I really hated speedrunning that game uh, with passion because when you come from... <laughs> I, I, can, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, so uh, when, yeah. <laughs> when, when you come from, you know, no damage, where I, I control my environment, you know, it's from each save mm -hmm. point to the next. Yep. I don't have to rush up in my menu. There's, there's little things that you don't mm -hmm. think about when you speedrun. And that's what I wanted to talk about earlier, Big Al, when you mentioned, you know, uh, if you can fight as good as JTB, can you move as good as him? But the third thing that people forget in a speedrun, and it's much important than what we think about, is how fast you navigate in your menu, you know? <laughs> that is really important. And when I started speedrunning, coming from doing no damage, karma run, and all of that, 
it made me realize how bad I was at <laughs> moving around in the menu and I was losing a lot of time sometimes trying to figure out how to get to one point and then I realized okay that the trigger were doing certain thing and then the d-pad was resetting uh, was resetting certain categories and such you know but it's stuff that I would never have really got into if it wasn't for speed running so that's why when I say the aspect of this game are are in well in huge number in the sense that not all game have that much depth towards that where all of this is important but this game has that where in speed running uh, how fast you navigate in the menu and how fast you can you know use your item and all of that is mm -hmm. gonna impact a lot in the end a lot than what people might think actually I think yeah. that that is an amazing fascinating point. You know, well, but man, I can fight and I can move. What's going on? Well, how good are you at pressing the start button and the D-pad and the, you know, the triggers? It's, to, um, I'm glad he mentioned that. A like, and D yeah. to get out of it. Because <laughs> on that, uh, from that segmented run, um, I was thinking of Master Ninja, and it's um, it's 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 weird to talk about menu management because we've touched on it a little bit for Karma running, but it's only really a problem on hard and and no one's i mean when was the last hard karma run like kel ice I think, lords i think or we yeah kel hasn't done it yet but okay. yeah like that yeah that's the only ice difficulty lords. where like if you're if you're sloppy on menus like that can cost you a time bonus like oh, the yeah, time limits all that strict seven. yeah um and uh, th that's one thing i thought of in in uh, that master ninja run and and the beauty of that was that it was segmented so i thought okay how many like how many times do I need to go into my menu in this chapter? Like, do I need to change my projectiles? No. So okay, I don't need to do that. You do start looking at it that way. And and it's in one take, you know, it's in one go. And that's one that's again, it's something I really hope people do pick up the higher difficulty, because I feel like people will enjoy the game so much more when they get to that level. And when you take it's like when you play for score and you don't play for score. It's so much easier. Like you just say, "Oh, okay, fine." Yeah. Then yeah, don't have to chase that guy down. You know, when you're not when you play for speed all the time, and you then you don't play for speed, you think, oh, "Okay, I can take my time. I can just chill." You know, I can, you know, I don't have to, you know, go kind of crazy on it. Uh, one thing I did want to like quickly try and get back to uh, was was uh, Al mentioned like burnout on the game. Um, what's the longest you guys have gone like without like touching this game? Uh, that's, I mean, that's okay, well, I, well, I can tell you straight up the longest is that uh, when I finished, you know, some of my don't my first no damage run that was with Nimpo, by the way, in 2009. Um, mm -hmm. I uh, the last thing I had done was what I told you earlier, Eternal Legend Phase Three, and then after that, I did not have the setup anymore to record that game from my OG Xbox, so. From 2019 to 2018, until it became backward compatible again, I did not play this game. Man, that's oh. a long time. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I think once Sigma came out, uh, and then you start adding all the other ones, I didn't play Ninja Gaiden Black for years. It really wasn't mm -hmm. until the... where they re-released it. Or however you want yeah. to call it for the yeah, Xbox the back, One, the backward compatibility oh, okay. yeah. that, that I that I picked it up, but but yeah, yeah I was just like, because I was at, you know I was at forty nine point you know seven or eight million when they corrupted, and that right there turned me off. <laughs> I, I yeah, I mean I can I cannot Damn, blame you. Man, that that is that is harsh. Yeah, and, and I just said, well, I'm just not going to play because I know what it takes, and yeah. so I didn't want to play it for fun because I'm kind of like you, Godfather, and you kind of get a, a determination in your mind and you want to do something. I know if I played it, it's like, well, I'm playing it again. Let me see if I can get that 50 million again. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't so, so I understand. But yeah, it, it was years. So I'm sure JTB, you play it like what? More than a month if you were out of town or something? Well, yeah, this is what, this, this is what I thought it'd be interesting because I feel like a lot of people uh before i actually say uh post a comment right now like guess how, what's the longest you think i've gone without playing because i imagine most people will probably say like a week <laughs> no <laughs> no but i would say honestly i would say probably maybe like roughly five six months i would say what about you al oh i, I would i would think it's uh, as much as you've done it with everything two months at the most okay it was more like almost three years Really? Um, oh my god! Yeah. We would have really lost. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, and this is because you mentioned burnout, and it's a, and it's something that I really did want to touch on. 
Um, when I finished my uh, karma run in 2009, before I started university, um, that run, that run took so much out of me. Was that the um, one that Master Ninja? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right that okay, was the 25.4 right. yeah. million yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Um. That was, uh, and, and I'm not like saying this is like a, a like Balbade's like easily one of the best ever, but like that was I think over 200k more than Balbade. Um, there was a Chinese player from the A9VG forum, and if you guys remember him, Yuxi, he was also doing oh, one yeah. at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think I beat him by like 300k or something. Because uh, I remember when he posted his scores on the forum, um, I got to admit, like I was kind of worried when I saw that thread title. I thought, oh, like because it was like if he's at a point where like I can't catch him, I'm thinking. Oh, do I finish this run? Like at that point, like I was putting, I was putting like every minute of the day was pretty much on that karma run. Um, and I looked, at, I remember going into the thread and like looking at the scores and thinking, oh shit, like I'm like, yeah, he, like he's not even close to to where I am right now. Um, but after I finished that run, like I just I needed like a I really needed to kind of take a break from the game because I thought. I just spent like pretty much nine months straight, like every hour of every day, thinking about this run and strategies. <laughs> People and... are gonna think this is so weird, but yeah, know, yeah, I did. But it, it really got to like a, 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 yeah, really got under my skin in a way that like no other project for a game has ever. Um, even like assessing Devil May Cry Three, Dante Must Die, which if anyone's done that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's like. It's nuts, man. Like that karma run was crazy, um, and I think it was—I think it was over three years since I—I I finished that, and I posted like my first NG two video since then because I wasn't even NGB; it was NG two. Um, and, and yeah, like, it, and that run, like, it—it almost—that's that, why I always say like I'll never do a full blown karma run again for NGB because it burned you out too much. Because it burned me out completely. Uh. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's like that. That's why, as well, like with what Kel's doing now, like there are so <laughs> few people I think that that can appreciate the fucking mental energy he has. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. do that. Yeah, I, I wish it's... he'd let us commentate on that or something. I, I just really did. Should. I told you, I just did chapter one seven hundred k back then, and you know, like, yeah, and then I'm, you were done. I'm like, done. Godfather, go. Yeah. Uh, um, I yeah. even warned you. I said, don't get burnt out. Don't uh, get burnt out. Yeah, and that yeah. was it. Yeah. I feel like me and Al, me and Al have said that in so many videos. Like when people talk about karma running, we always say like, "Don't get burned out on the early chapters because they're the easy ones." You yeah. know, save save your energy for like chapters six, yeah. seven, ten, twelve, fifteen. 15 yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna be the chapters that make you want to jump off a bridge. You know, because you have no idea how savage that game can be. Um, oh. but yeah, that, that, that's uh, why I stopped. You know, playing it for karma. Um, in NGB, um, because it was just really crazy, like how I mean, and and I'm and don't get me wrong, like in hindsight, I mean that record stood for, I think I can't remember when it got beat. I think it was when Balbay did his next run, which was I think five years or or more later. Um, you know, it, it it's something that in hindsight I'm happy I did, but if I could honestly go back, I don't know if I'd do it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, it's it really like has... me going that long without playing this game is kind of insane. Or you would have done now... you would have done what Kel is doing right now. He would have gone for the insane run right away and say, "Fuck that! I'm putting all my time <laughs> in the game." You know? Uh, yeah. I mean, Kel. I mean, like, what Kel's doing is incredible. But he, like, he he does have the benefit of like all the years of yeah. breakdown. Yes. And it, you know, yeah, he, yeah, he does yeah. have that. Like, it, and it, not that that makes it easy. No, but, no, 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 no. Definitely not by any means. You know, but it does help him though because yeah, he, he has that extra knowledge that you didn't have back then when you did yours though yeah. so i always feel bad that like so few people watch his videos it pisses me off yeah I feel, I feel like oh you guys just this is just to people who know the game like at that level i think this is just but i kind of wish uh, because i you know i i do shout out to kel all the time actually you know i mention mm -hmm. him a lot i say because sometimes there are people that are like bro you're god at this game and i hate when people say that you know i'm just like no dude i'm a dude that's trying to do his best dude that's it and i'm mm -hmm. not the best yeah. at this game like i say kel for example is, a, is the best karma player that i've ever seen in story mode you know and i say there's I'm almost sad, yeah. nobody nobody checking him but that's one thing though i kind of wish that kel because kel 
showed that he's he's watching me on Twitch. All right, he's watching me because <laughs> because two times I, I know. One time after military destruction too. You know, I done it on live stream. I did not have uploaded yet. I had the video recorded, all of that. I kept, you know, mm -hmm. I highlighted it. Then I go on NG Realm and I see like, congrats, Godfather on MD2, you know, no video anywhere. And then recently <laughs> when I beat Frenchie, he, he check on the thread, he says, congrats, Godfather on the world record, you know? So it means that he's there, he's, he, 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 I don't know if he has an account, but he should make one and be vocal in the stream, you know. I'd love to chat his his brain out. Actually, yeah. I'd love if we could if he could join us as a guest in here, you know, tell us from his perspective because I've never spoken with, you know, with voice uh, to Kel or anything. So it, no, I mean either. So That'd be cool. I think um that's a, that maybe gets into a, a slightly different topic, but it is it, it's definitely relevant for me. Like the last few months um is uh like everything now like is kind of very personalized like you know you're, you're on camera like I, I didn't want to be on camera ever yeah um like streaming i was like nobody wants to see me like trust me guys like you know you, you just want to see the game like I, my face <laughs> adds nothing to my stream <laughs> um i said the same and, thing uh, <laughs> yeah it's like because i feel like uh and i don't want to get like too deep onto that here but like i i think you know coming from the the older era of doing this it's like all people cared about then was the gameplay you know it was no one gives a crap about all the other stuff. It's just we want to see the game. Yeah, now is um, that they want to see a reaction of the yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> now it's like yeah, now it's so much more. It's like a, it's like that weird, like voyeuristic aspect of like no, we want to see like you, you know, your reaction when you get this, you know, and and I think yeah, I can kind of see that, but it's like trust me, you don't want to see the reactions of when I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see those. Uh, um, have you ever broken any controllers? Oh yeah, oh yeah, many. Yeah. I broke it. I like, broke yeah, I, honestly, yeah. like, uh, and that's something that, uh, not entirely it? related to just that run, but that very hard calm run in Sigma cost me a controller. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, what about uh, you, and, Godfather? Uh, actually, broken? No. Nah, not not ever, bro. Uh, if my controller breaks, it's because of use, you know, being too used. I, I have <laughs> awesomeness. No, but I, I'm not going to lie, though. I had time that. I, and I've said it on stream too because it did happen that I did say that if I was a millionaire for any reason because controller are expensive, you know, but yep. if I was a millionaire for any, any reason, there's a few times I think where I would have thrown them in the wall if I'm totally honest. But mm -hmm. I, right. you know, I refrain myself from doing it because again, they're really expensive and I'm not someone exactly. that that like you know oh, break, but it feels so good breaking sometimes. stuff up. <laughs> breaking stuff I mean, up. I'm glad Al said that because uh, on <laughs> on the Sigma one, um, I can't even remember what fight it was actually off the top of my head, but I remember. Um, and this is PS2 controllers, man, could take a bump, you know. Yeah. OG Xbox controllers can take a hit or two. Newer controllers are made of, I mean, paper mache. You know, they they yeah. they just fall to pieces. Um, I remember just uh, on, on that Sigma run, and again, this was like recent, so there was more shit going on. But like, it, it just, it just a really bad run, and like, j just something completely out the blue happened. You know how it does when you're playing for Karma. And I remember just like, I just threw the controller, and it just exploded when it hit the wall. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, you're a fucking moron for doing that, but I, I, I won't lie and say like that didn't feel like that felt good <laughs> <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Yeah. My wife, uh, whenever I was going to college and taking some community uh, HCC and everything, I was so, that was when I was doing that and playing NGB and it just consumed me. She would actually take the game to work with her. <laughs> to make sure you wouldn't be able to play. Yeah, so I couldn't play and make sure I did all my homework and everything. She'd come back now. Like I said, I'm in my late 30s, early 40s, whenever it was. She's like... <laughs> Did you do all your homework for for tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. She says, okay. Well, I brought the game for you then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh -oh. that's really funny, actually. It's kind of sad. Hey, I don't mind admitting the embarrassing stuff, you know. Yeah, it's cool. We've all, we all been there for different stuff, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think it's um. I mean, you know what, man? It's it, to get a bit more lighthearted, but uh, one guilty pleasure of mine. Um, uh, TGD, you played uh, Blackout and, and Warzone, right? Yeah. When, when they, yeah. 
Um, I, that was like my first foray into like Call of Duty multiplayer. Um, and the, the rage videos that came out from Blackout, I used to watch all of them, and oh, they would just—I would just be dying laughing. It was so funny. And oh, so and funny. some of the, some of the stuff that I've seen people do, I think, yeah, breaking the controller is pretty goddamn tame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of de this stuff. De definitely. Well, the one that actually in initiated me to battle royale uh, was for me was PUBG, you know. And PUBG, yeah, yeah. you so had first, you had the the proximity chat, you know, so yep. you, you would have people like call that really stupid name, you know, like the old school. I don't know if you remember JTV, the days of uh, Modern Warfare Two lobby. I'm not sure if you were playing. Back I then. didn't play Modern Warfare Two, okay. but uh, the, I did play Gears of War One. But the and, lobby uh, yeah, were Gears super of War was super cancer, so cancer that. Yep. Today, if you would have been streaming, you would have had to mute those lobby because the amount of N word that you would hear come mm -hmm. out of people's mouth was just insane, you know? So people yep. were saying bunch of stupid shit. And there's a lot of time where people were really salty when you were killing them in these games where they would literally say stuff like, I wish your mom catch cancer. And I was just like thinking in my head, why you say shit like that it's just a game you know like it's supposed yep. to to be to have fun and there's some people that takes it to an entirely different level of rage and it's just I insane know. to me seeing people like seeing people literally like destroy like you know monitors that cost over a grand are you talking about the uh, sub smash <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I don't follow like the so I, I have no idea who these people are. Like honestly, I just I just watch them because it's just I'm I'm twisted. But I just find it funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know who any of them are, but when I see them break their monitors, I'm like, I look at the monitor, I'm like, that's like a you know high refresh rate. Like that's the that's an expensive monitor. Like, and you see them pop up in like multiple different videos doing it, and I was like, what what are you people doing? <laughs> like you know you should stop playing this game yeah well i wonder how much of that though is just for shock value uh, ex and... that's what i was gonna say too yeah yeah you got i mean i like to think that but i i don't know like i feel like i, I maybe i'm just losing faith slowly in like the human race but i i don't know like i want to think it's shock yeah. value but it, <laughs> there's thinking... always some truth in, involved in that uh, some yeah some yeah. people because i don't know you can you, you can feel a little bit, I think, is the if the person is uh, genuine, you know, with his with his reaction. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I remember when you watch the Ninja Gaiden uh, rage video, you know, the NGB oh, yeah. rage video, oh, so and fun. and and you reacted to it, and then there was uh, there was one guy, you know, but I'm not gonna go with specific names. People are probably gonna guess who it is, but there was one guy that was like swimming in the water and mm -hmm. he was getting insanely pissed just because he was not able to get to the surface, you know? And that type of rage to me feel overkill for the situation that he's right. in, yeah. you know? I it's, never saw that one. It, I saw it, the it, NG2 one. Yeah, it's just like, Dude, calm down. You know, you're just swimming. Yeah. You're you're not even. Uh, he, he wasn't even running out of air. He was just about to run out of air when he reached the surface. He wasn't even close to dying or anything. So there's mm -hmm. time like this where I know some people are caught up in that and they want to believe those reactions. But I mean, to me, I I can't spot a, f a fake or a genuine reaction from a hundred miles out. I I don't know. I just I just see through those people sometimes if it's just you know for the show because nowadays when you check some of the videos that go viral uh they're not always the people with the highest iq right <laughs> so i'm just gonna leave it at that without going yeah. in specific detail but you know what i mean yeah i do but i, I feel like um i guess it's kind of straying away from ng a bit but i feel like even if yeah, it is we're, fake we're i feel like point. yeah i feel like that's a problem you know like you shouldn't be like acting like that you know for for, for views or, or whatever and, and i don't know we're like you know in terms of like content creation like we're all super dinosaurs but um yeah i, I don't know man like that that's weird to me i i don't um that's what we were saying about so to get this back to ng um the uh there's, there's a there was one video in particular uh, that i saw lately um and i just i couldn't make it like more than two minutes through and and i was annoyed that i even think oh, why did you even watch it you knew it was gonna be crap um but the focus is on making the video 
you know, like funny and like with jokes in it. And I think, yeah, that masks the fact that you don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, the people watching don't know enough to know that you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So people watch this and then this gets like churned up in the algorithm. This gets pushed to people's pages and and this is what people think. And I feel like, you know, with the Call of Duty example, it's the same. Like, you know, if you was to say to someone you know, do you play Call of Duty? And they're like, oh, no, it's just, you know, full of idiots that, like, get really angry. You think, yeah, I, I can see why you would say that. <laughs> because, you know, those right. videos are really popular. They're and... getting pushed by the algorithm, you know, yeah. first. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, so it's, um, that's something that worries me for the Master Collection. Um, Because, like, I'm not at a point where, like, I want to, like, come back yet, like, properly, but I'm thinking of the Master Collection coming out, and I can't help but think, God, there's going to be so many bad Bad tutorial, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, not just tutorials. Like, I feel like you know, there's going to be like streamer rage, and it's like that's what's going to be getting all the yeah. views instead of something that could you know help people get better and find fun in this game. I mean, like... I mean, no pressure on you, dog. But uh, <laughs> if you ever get back in in the game, you know, and you want to do a guide, I'll, I'll have you join you for one. You know, so yeah, just, it'd be cool. Just but putting yeah, it out right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, just I mean... putting it out there. No pressure, though. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. I, like to say, right? I, I still, I still have, I have like two speed runs that are world records. I haven't posted yet because I just don't want to. I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't you know, want to. Getting back to what y'all were saying about the, the videos, you know, that that's mm -hmm. maybe people some just want to watch that. They don't want to get to the serious stuff that we're talking about. I mean, there's another side. I mean, who would not want to play this game to its full potential? You know, as as kind of you know my point of view for the most mm -hmm. part. But some people just want to see the craziness and the stupidness and yeah. But and I think up to a point I though is that you care don't care for it. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I don't. I don't care for that. But maybe there is that that other side. Oh, I know this guy isn't that good, or I know this person is not going to give me good content or whatever. But I like that he makes me laugh. And in my life, you know, I need a laugh more than I need trying to, you know, get good at a hard game. So maybe that's another yeah. side of it too. Yeah, but that's also very, it's yeah. the it's the set of mentality of the people that are playing it, you know. You could have you could have a blend in of both. You could watch someone that makes you laugh towards that game, but then someone else that gives you relevant information to also get better about that game. So yeah. there's a way I think to blend in those to well to make it that you can kind of balance it out and then it's also the will from each individual if they really want to become better at the game because that's the thing we decided to get better at the game then we see the potential of the game someone watching what we're doing with the potential of that game doesn't fully understand what goes on behind that you know, specifically. Right. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just they could see the crazy stuff. You could show someone that never played the game how to fight Awaken Alma the first time on normal with the specific string and all of this. And then when it's time to fight her, that well, the person's not gonna be able to do that because they're not they don't have the practice. And I can straight up put an example on how I got some people into the game personally and a lot of them watch me every day and one of them recently uh, decided to try speed running the game and then he, he realized that you watch a lot of stuff and you think you pick up on a lot of stuff but when it's time to actually apply that stuff that's when you realize that you don't know about it because you didn't put in the time yourself to get to that point because this game it's all about practicing enough so that you get to the execution Watching it is one thing, but if you're gonna always watch and think like, oh, I'm picking up on all those things, and then you never play, and then you think when you're gonna play, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be a beast, you know, first time. It yeah, that right. game does not work like that at all. And the best example I can give is even after all those years, and I think JTB will agree on this. I still get shit on sometimes, you know, after all those I years. And I, me. And, <laughs> and I think, I think, you know, the knowledge that we have of the game yeah. is, is, at a, is, is at another level technically compared to the average player. And that game is still punishing after all those years. And that's why I love, by the way, about that game. It's exactly that, is that you'll never get to the point, I think, where you will be that good that you will be over the game. It's going to help Unless you're you. Vampire Horde. Yeah. <laughs> if, anybody, uh, if anybody remember Al, I think you remember that guy, right? Yeah, I remember Vampire yep. Horde. 
yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a super layered joke, but no one is going to get that. But <laughs> for the ones that do, like... <laughs> But you can explain what? it if you want the reference. Explain well, it. The, yeah, if you if you want some back, so on the old site, uh, we used to have video player pages. Um, uh, this is on the Iberian site, uh, and you used to have like a little bio about yourself. You know, like a few few lines of text. Uh, and there was a player called Vampire Horde uh, who was honestly like average at best. Like, he wasn't that great. Um, uh, but in his bio, um, his final line, like you know, on on the on his uh, like. A by a byline was um, all mistakes made during gameplay are intentional to show that mistakes are even possible for advanced players. <laughs> and, like that stuck oh, with man. me so much because well, that is the stupidest thing I've ever read. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, wow, I forgot then, all about that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, the name and I, I, it just made that. me laugh so much. It's like you know, um, it's just one of those things. Yeah, if you got that joke originally, like you know, you uh, you've you've been around for a while. Um, That's hilarious, actually. Yeah, well, but no, totally. Um, I got a good example for that on on that single segment Master Ninja run I did. Um, it took me, I think, it took me four goes to get it. Um, and on one of them, uh, I get to Alma, and the run is like the run. I, I was pissed when it happened because the run I got that died at Alma was so much better than like the one where I actually got it. Um, and uh, I knock Alma down, uh, I think with a flying swallow, and I, I just immediately brain fart and do Nimpo straight away. I'm like, shit, why'd you do that? Like, uh, instead of the, you know what I mean, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I was like, what are you doing? Like, and then I, I just could not like get my focus back afterwards, and it just, it just went to shit. I was like, oh yeah, this one's dead. I'm like, um, so yeah, like you know, and I've played, I've played Alma, I have fought Alma thousands of times yeah, yeah yeah so you would think like the idea like you know the idea of me just completely brain farting on alma it's like it happens like it's just you know you're trying to juggle all this stuff sometimes you you know you drop one you know you 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 might get everything else but you you just drop that one thing and you think ah damn it like, that little brain fart right <laughs> yeah like that's the thing i that, that that's the thing i needed to not drop you know uh, the other thing that i got i could have messed that up and i would have been okay but i i couldn't recover from dropping this i think we uh we got a little off topic from where we wanted to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah we yeah. get carried uh, in my experience well, you know though what? people seem to like that yeah <laughs> oh yeah and, and that's yeah. what i'm saying that's the great part about this there's so much to to talk about to cover yeah. and and, and the thing is, is, is we're going to have to do that on our next video that keeps people coming back for more. But one thing that I, I do want to say that, that we are going to talk about next, uh, we are going to talk about some of the other forums other than GameFAQs and, you know, and, and the history of Iberians a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, people ask me that all the time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how many yeah, people me too. know, but me and... Uh, me and Iberian Warrior were actually pretty good buddies. We used to talk on the phone a lot, and uh, I went to go visit him in Ohio, and he came down to Texas to to stay with me. So there's a lot of history there, but uh, we'll get that into that the next time. Also, uh, we want to talk about a few more shortcuts uh, that that were that we didn't get a chance to talk about in the the second part of the video. Again, this is the third part. And also some shout outs to some of the old, other players that we forgot. You know, Bookworm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A really good player. Yeah. Dark Hazuki, Mr. Master. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that before moving on into, you know, maybe some Sigma stuff with Hammer for Eye and then, you know, some more of the Ninja Gaiden 2. And, uh, but, you know, we've been doing this for a little while now. And, you know, I think uh, this is a good stopping point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a this is a good time to wrap up. So I hope uh, everyone enjoyed that part, and uh, well, we'll catch up on the next one. I I don't know if JTB has anything to say. I'm gonna let him. Uh, no, no. I was up. thinking. The, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Cause I say I was just thinking like we haven't even like touched on like Sigma or two. <laughs> like really. Uh, <laughs> you know? I mean, here and there, but not how we wanted to. Yeah, and yeah. Not in any great detail. This. And and I'll say this, you know, when we initially talked about this, it's like, oh, well, we're going to talk about just a little bit of the history of the game, and then we're going to go from there to Sigma to 2. We're going to get all this stuff out. But this is the first time the three of us in all these years have gotten together and done this. So there's a lot of pent-up conversation that we can mm -hmm. bring out. And yeah. like you said, I think people really enjoy that. And I'm having a blast. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, me too. 
Okay, I, I hope people watch and listen to everything. Please, if you have any questions, you know, ask us uh, whatever you're thinking, whatever. I mean, we want, you know, the community to be involved. You know, uh, we JTB and I always say that in our commentary. Godfather, you know, says that and he welcomes all the questions in his stream. Yep. So, yep. so please, yep. you know, let us know anything that you want us to say or talk about or. Yeah, yeah, feel free to ask and make sure also you go. Uh, I'm gonna do it in a pinned comment under uh, on YouTube, but make sure uh, make sure you go uh, subscribe to uh, Big Al and Mr. JTB on YouTube. Lots of uh, interesting video over there.